Welcome to Fanfiction Audiobook. American Comics. Psychiatrist, Cut Who Wanda Gwen. Chapter 66. After being forcibly teleported to the Avengers base by Su Yi, Hila looked around. Haven't found anything out of the ordinary yet. But the next moment. Beep 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 beep. Yes. The intelligent system of the Avengers base directly sounded the alarm. Boom 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 and a large number of floor-to-ceiling windows began to drop alloy gates to protect the interior of the base. Hila glanced at her surroundings. She knew right away that she was going into a bad place. Swish. Hila put on the cloak, and took out the night sky sword with a wave of both hands. And then, superheroes appeared one after another in the Avengers base. But the odd one is. Only Natasha Romanoff, Vision, War Machine, and Wanda came out tonight and everyone else was gone. After many superheroes left the base, Natasha Romanoff, holding a gun, walked forward with many superheroes and asked Hila. Who are you and why are you invading the Avengers base? War Machine just sent out a press conference and hasn't left yet. He looked at the report in the base and said to everyone. This person appeared out of the blue, she might be magical, be careful. War Machine also raised the machine gun in both hands. But Wanda looked at Hila. It always feels a little weird. What's wrong, Wanda? Wanda is now the number one combat force. Natasha Romanoff has been keeping an eye on Wanda. So Wanda frowned, and Nada asked immediately. Nothing. Wanda recalled the feeling just now and said. I seem to feel sus breath just now. Wanda's feeling is not wrong. Because Hila was really sent over by Su Yi's force. And Hila after hearing Wanda mention Su. She asked decisively and curiously. You know Sue. As soon as this sentence came out. Several members of the Avengers Alliance exchanged glances. Then Natasha Romanoff stepped up to answer. Which Sue? Please tell me your full name. Sue Yi. Broken. Really no. Natasha Romanoff and Wanda exchanged glances. Everyone didn't know whether it was good or bad that this person knew Sue Yi. What if it's an enemy? Although Sue Yi is a bad guy from 9 to 5. The world is full of wonders, what if there are people who don't like him? So Natasha Romanoff thought about it. Still she stood up, but put away the gun and said. You know Sue, what does it have to do with your invasion of the Avengers base? Oh one. State your reasons clearly, or leave quickly. Hila heard this. With her wisdom, she directly knew that this group of people should know Sue. Even familiar. So if she really hit, it would be equivalent to hitting Sus' friend. Then it is absolutely impossible to ask Sue to help him again. So, Hila thought about it. She also put away the two night sky swords in her hand. He also changed his clothes back into a leather jacket and smiled. Sue asked me to come. The teleportation is not ready, something happened. But I don't know why he asked me to come, maybe. Let me know you better, and him. As expected. After hearing that it was Sue who asked her to come. The weapons that everyone did lay down. And Hila also put down her weapon in advance to indicate that she would not use force. So this kind of goodwill made everyone relax. And, fortunately, Hila changed her hairstyle, clothes and makeup. Otherwise, she will be the same as before. Even if Hila said these words now, the Avengers Alliance wouldn't believe it. Look at your ugly face. Still, Natasha Romanoff is wary. She doesn't believe everything the other person says. Please indicate your identity and source. And what kind of clothes Sue is wearing today, what kind of army is he driving? Natasha Romanoff said so. Everyone nodded and said yes. And Hila thought for a while, reorganized the language and replied. My name is Hila Odinson, from Asgard. Sue's car is red, and she wears a black coat and a white shirt. Hila didn't know which brand Sue Yi's car was but it does not matter. She pierced it so she knew it was red. Not to mention the color of the clothes. When Su Yi pinched her face at night, Hila could even smell the fragrance on Su Yi's clothes. Definitely, not the other flavors. It is the elegant taste of the wilderness in the laundry detergent. Odin Sen. Hila, you are from Asgard. After hearing Hela's last name and hometown, War Machine and Natasha Romanoff reacted immediately. This is the man from the same place as Thor. Who are you from Thor? Thor. Hila replied, he is my brother. Natasha Romanoff frowned in thought. She hadn't heard that Thor had a sister either. 
But all the questions that should be asked are over. There is no fighting spirit on the other side. Did not want to attack either. It's not a problem for the two sides to be so stalemate. So Natasha Romanoff exchanged glances with the crowd. The one who agrees to let her in nods. If you disagree, don't move. As a result, they all nodded. So Natasha Romanoff said. Okay, you can come in. Hearing this, Hila smiled. So Hila walked into the Avengers base like this. And observed by Hila, she could feel that once there was a problem with Su Yi. Everyone looked at Wanda first. So Hila asked while walking next to Wanda. Su is a wonderful man, don't you think? Everyone was still walking. Now he stopped again when he heard Hela's words. Wanda also looked at Hila scrutinizingly. What do you want to say? When Hila saw it this way, she knew that she had asked the wrong question. At the same time, she also knew that Wanda definitely had something to do with Sue. Otherwise, her words should not have been scrutinized. No, I mean he is very powerful, very capable. Hila quickly explained. Now she wants to collect as much information as possible about Su Yi. And build a good relationship with Su Yi's friends. Only in this way can Su Yi be won over. This is what Hila learned in her previous career in war. And Wanda nodded in agreement after hearing Hela's new explanation. Yes, Su is fantastic, he is the best man in my heart. Hear this nasty words. The people walked and chatted again. Please, Wanda, if you express your love like this again, we are cute and jealous. It's true. Wanda smiled. Hila on the side nodded. It seems that Su Yi is not a heartless person emotionally. He just treats everyone with respect. But also more sentimental. Or what about that Gwen, and this Wanda? But in Hela's eyes. The strong can indeed have wives and concubines. Strength is the only measure of the standard. As long as you are strong. Do whatever you want. So what's the point of marrying more wives? As long as you love them both. Then this also shows that you are an excellent man with charm, ability and management skills. It is a hot and precious resource among many girls. So at this point, Hila gave Su Yi another super high score. Follow the crowd into the Avengers base. Natasha Romanoff poured everyone a glass of ice water. Everyone sat in front of the sofa and started chatting. By the way, check out Hela's tone of voice or something. Definitely. Everyone knows what to talk about and what not to talk about. Everyone just chatted about previous events. Such as various crises and so on. Wanda has encountered this a lot recently, so let Wanda talk about it. And Wanda talked a lot about the crisis he and Suyi encountered. Such as rats, lizardmen and so on. Everyone chatted a lot. Hela is silently absorbing the cognition. Suddenly, an overhead shot was thrown beside the living room. It's Tony's 3D projection. This projection startled Hila at first. She thought it was teleported again. Because Tony's projection is extremely real, almost exactly the same as the reality, and there is no difference. And Hila recognized it right away. Or because she can feel the breath of life in the dead. And Tony's projection has nothing. What's wrong, Tony? Seeing Tony's reasoning, Natasha Romanoff immediately felt something was wrong. Tony was about to say something. But after seeing Hila, he looked to everyone and asked. Who is she? Earth has no data on her. Natasha Romanoff looked at Hila and explained. Her name is Hila Odinson, from Asgard, Thor's sister. Thor has a sister. Tony froze for a moment. But after hearing that it was Thor's sister, Tony felt he could say it. Still have to be sure. Tony asked Hila, will you kill people randomly, like that Loki named the reindeer? Hila shook her head, I can guarantee that there will be no random killings in Midgard. Midgard, everyone was taken aback, it's like Thor said it too. Midgard equals Earth, just a different name in Asgard. But it doesn't matter, as long as it doesn't kill people randomly on the Earth. They don't care about other places. So Tony continued, okay, it's urgent. According to Friday's tip, Captain America secretly took Winter Soldier, Hawkeye, Falcon, Ant-Man to the German airport. War Machine Rhodes was puzzled. What are they going to the German airport for? Tony's face was ugly. They are ready to protest against the normal implementation of the Sokovia Agreement. And once this happens, Avengers will suffer a serious loss in meaning, and we may disband directly. 
so I need you to rest as soon as possible, and tomorrow we will take a private jet to stop their stupid behavior. As soon as this statement came out, everyone fell into silence. It's not that they don't want to go. Rather, they are thinking, as long as they go, it means that the Avengers have been divided into two factions. One faction is the liberal faction of Captain America. One faction is Tony's conservative faction. But to put it simply, it's the Avengers' internal split. Civil War. Tony looked at everyone. I know you are hesitation, but this must be done. Or you can stay neutral, go or not, but Avengers is my father's brainchild, and I won't allow it to disband because of Captain America. Tony. The words moved everyone a little bit. And. It was Captain America who took the lead and secretly led the team to stop it. Why didn't he discuss it with everyone? Why doesn't he explain it? Why didn't he make it clear? This made everyone feel betrayed. So, everyone looked at each other. They all nodded and said. No problem, gather tomorrow morning. After everyone discusses. Natasha Romanoff suddenly remembered something. Look back at Gila. You. Only then did everyone react. There is an outsider here. What should this person do? And Gila watched everyone look at him. She can't give up the opportunity to get together. And Gila just listened. This is going to fight, right? If she can help everyone. Is it the same as helping Su Yi's friend? Does that mean there is a better chance to win over Su Yi? Gila thought so. So he grabbed Wanda's arm. I can help too. Call me if you need to fight. You are all sus friends, and I can help you too. Everyone looked at each other. Although I don't know how powerful Gila is, both Thor and Gila come from Asgard. And she's Thor's sister. Surely it's not weak, right? And now is the time to lack combat power. So everyone nodded. Okay, let's rest together. The next day, 8 in the morning, Su Yi woke up holding Gwen's melon. After feeling warm again, Su Yi couldn't help holding it again, twisting it, coughing and coughing again. Um, sleeping Gwen let out a nasal sound. Then he covered Su Yi's hand with his hand to prevent it from moving. That is not allowed to play. Su Yi definitely retreated first. Snapped. He snapped his fingers. The whole house became clean again. Su Yi got up and took a hot shower. Definitely, this hot bath is just for comfort. Because of the magic hit just now. Even Gwen, who was still sleeping, was clean in 447. After taking a shower, Su Yi wrapped himself in a scarf and returned to the bed. Then turn on the phone to see if there are any new news and news. News. All expected. Scarlet Witch solves the crisis again. The giant monster is beheaded and eliminated. Citizens once again suggested that Scarlet Witch quit Avengers and team up with Ms. Spider to become a superhero goddess group. The superhero goddess group received a lot of support from the public. The male god group also appeared, but the members discussed and encouraged, and then the male god group disbanded. Pissed. See last message. Su Yi couldn't help laughing. The fans of the male god group really fought each other. The fans of the goddess group are different. All licking dogs. What's the noise then? At most, everyone discusses who looks better and quarrels together. But Su Yi clicked his tongue and felt a little strange. The goddess group now has two members. Wanda and Gwen. As a result, one was lying beside him, and the other was about to die. If it is exposed in the future, will he still show his face on the road? It seems to be a little hanging. It's fine if it's an ordinary person. The key is that he is more likely to be noticed if he is handsome. Well, it seems that I have to be more low-key in the future. After thinking about it, Su Yi looked at other news. Among them is the message Wanda sent to himself in the middle of the night. Su, a woman came to the base, she said she was Hela, from Asgard, Thor's sister, or your friend. Captain America secretly took people to organize the Sokovia Agreement. Tomorrow Tony will take us to stop it. I want to see it too. 17. But Gila has also gone, and we've boarded Tony's private jet and are heading to Germany. Gila said she would help Sue's friend. I don't know who she is, but I always feel that she is a bit strange. Sue Yi. No, what's the situation? What happened last night? How did you become friends? Why is Gila going to help you fight Captain America again? What kind of plot is this? Why haven't I seen it? Su Yi sat on the bed in a daze. How could the plot develop like this after one night? 
Is this nuclear lithium? Hila will be friends with people. Shouldn't she be throwing a tantrum and mingling with the Avengers? Su Yi thought about many endings. For example, Hila was kicked out. For example, Hila fought the Avengers Alliance. But only unexpected. Hila will be friends with the Avengers Alliance. Still be friends with Wanda. What are you doing, Hila? At the moment's intuition told Su Yi that this Hila must have other ideas. Indefinitely for yourself. Well, at this time, feeling that Su Yi came back, Gwen stepped forward and hugged Su Yi's thigh in a daze. Su Yi tapped Gwen cough cough. Aren't you going to school? Holiday. Gwen muttered, today is Saturday. Well, he forgot. Students are on weekends, so cool. But soon Su Yi also realized. Wrong. His 9 to 5 system and his own psychological studio also have holidays. He is 955, not 957. And check in is 5 get 2 free, and you can still check in after 2 days off. So he can rest today and tomorrow too. Su Yi could only speak. Double break is great. Anyway, after knowing that tomorrow and the day after tomorrow will be off. Su Yi said nothing. Let's go back to sleep with Gwen first. Anyway, Hila has already gone to Germany with them. Then go and go. Can I still go and pull her back? So before going back to sleep, Su Yi took out his phone and sent a message to Wanda. The one named Hila can be left alone. What about her? You can talk to her or ignore her. In short, she has no good intentions. After sending the message, as soon as Su Yi lost his phone, he hugged Gwen and continued to sleep. As for clothes, what clothes? Su Yi doesn't wear any clothes when he sleeps. Gwen was definitely brought by Su Yi. She wore a bra a few times before, but the back was pulled off by Su Yi. Afterwards, it was completely the same as Su Yi. Cough, cough, cough. At the same time, in the Himalayas, a person wrapped in a wind scarf, carrying a school bag, and wearing gloves but still trembling came here. After seeing the courtyard town in the distance, Stephen took off his scarf, looked at the address given by Su Yi, and let out a sigh of relief. Finally reached. So many days have passed. Stephen has since arrived at the outskirts of the mountains hundreds of kilometers away. He came here on foot. Because Su Yi told him, you must have a sincere heart to find this holy place. Here is Stephen's only hope. How could he not be sincere? You must know that before the injury is healed. Stephen knew there was no cure for his hands. He is a surgeon. No one knows his situation better than him. And here, is the only hope. At the same time, the words left by Su Yi. I also hope that Stephen can face this opportunity sincerely. And do better than normal futures. A few hours later. Inside the town where Stephen came. He looked at the sparse crowd around him as well as the vegetable sellers and farm tools, and he was a little dazed. This is a holy place. Real or fake? Stephen took out the address with trembling hands and looked at it. It's around here. Is it true or false? No, it must be true. Snapped. Stephen slapped himself. Sue won't lie to himself. The holy land must be nearby. Just look for it yourself. Must be able to get started. That's all. Stephen took the address note and started asking people. This was prepared before he came. This address has been translated into more than 100 common languages by him. Stephen couldn't believe that no one knew this line. Hey, oily spike Ingrid shit. Okay, do you know where this is? Excuse me, do you know where this is? That's all. A few hours later, Stephen looked at the address and fell into thought. Why still can't find it? He just asked at least one or two hundred people. But no one knows where this is. Why? Could it be that he was in the wrong place? Shouldn't he be asking here? Thinking of this, Stephen immediately took the address and ran to other places to start asking. At the same time, Ancient One Shrine in Kamar Taj. In an attic, Wong knocked on the door and came in and said. Ancient One Magician, there is an ordinary person in the town who keeps asking about the location of the temple. Ancient One opened his eyes and nodded. Bring him in. Wong nodded. Then went out to find Stephen. And Stephen in the town asked for directions again. At the moment, he asked and saw a fat, but strangely dressed man. The weirder Stephen is now, the more he wants to ask. So he hurried to the king. Sorry to bother you, here. Follow me. Wong didn't talk nonsense. 
Let Stephen follow directly. Um, Stephen was taken aback, but the king was already turning away. This can't be a bad guy, can it? Stephen thought so first. But this is his only chance. So Stephen followed. In this way, Wang led Stephen around. Finally stopped in front of a Qingxi wall. Go in, quote. After Wang finished speaking, he continued to move forward. What? Stephen was taken aback, he was about to say something just now. I saw Wang directly passing through the Qingxi wall and walking into the wall. Stephen didn't react at first. After that is the excitement. The address Su gave is correct. Su didn't lie to me. Su, you are my god. Stephen walked towards Qingxi with excitement. He also thought that he could melt into it like a king. But, after a sound of hitting the wall appeared, Stephen backed away holding his nose, and the king came out from inside the wall again. Oh, I forgot you don't know how to spell. Then come with me. Finished. Wong suppressed a smile, then lean on the wall that Stephen entered together. After the two entered the wall, what caught the eye was the venue that suddenly expanded several times. Attics, courtyards, martial arts fields, stairs. The superposition of these buildings has a very sense of history. Stephen also felt that he had come to the right place. Thus the two passed through Midgard. Stephen looked at the people coming and going and asked Wang. Are these magicians? Wang Chi looked at Stephen strangely. You know magicians. Definitely. Stephen looked back at Wang and said. A friend of mine who was hiding in front of me showed it to me, and he also asked me to come. As soon as this statement came out, Wang suddenly frowned. You must know that rumors about the holy land of magicians are serious matters. Once this kind of thing happens, then the magician who came out of the holy land must come back to accept punishment. Otherwise, the high-level magician will go to him. Then bring him back for punishment. So the king asked very seriously. Who told you here? Stephen looked at Wang's serious face and knew that something had happened. It seems that this place cannot be nonsense. And he would definitely not betray Su. So Stephen pretended not to understand and explained. Um, a friend, I only know his surname is Su, I don't know anything else, um, I really don't know. As soon as Stephen finished speaking, he felt that no one believed what he said. But the result is that after the king heard this sentence, the brows are no longer wrinkled, it's normal, it's all right. Let's go. Stephen stared at Wang who walked away without saying a word, and was also taken aback. That's how he believed it. Why? Stephen didn't understand. But he had to hurry up. After the two approached again, Wang looked ahead and asked Stephen softly at the same time. The Su you mentioned has only two characters in his name, right? Know all this. Stephen was shocked, but he gritted his teeth and shook his head. Have no idea. Wang cast Stephen a look probably know the situation. Handsome than you, a little taller than you, black hair, good temperament, right? Here here. Stephen was shocked. He asked Wang directly, do you know him? Wang didn't answer. He didn't dare to answer this sentence. Fortunately, the two had arrived at the door of Ancient One's attic. Wang pushed open the door, and Stephen Yuanbo went in. Go in, the Ancient One magician is waiting for you. Stephen took a last look at Wang. Then went into the attic. One in. A man in a yellow robe is turning his back on himself. Wait until Stephen walks over. Only then did Ancient One turn around. Stephen looked at Ancient One, and then at his hands. Can my hands still heal? Ancient One heard this sentence. I was taken aback for a moment. She looked at Stephen again and asked. When Sue asked you to come, didn't he tell you why you came? Why are you here? Besides, they all know Su Yi. But Stephen shook his head. Soon told me that here is my future. That's right. Ancient One nodded, waved his hand and said, The king will guide you to get familiar with this place. You follow him, and after receiving the things, you can practice here. Now it was Stephen's turn to be stunned. Want to live here. But my hand. Before Stephen finished speaking, Ancient One interrupted. It's up to you. All right. Stephen folded his hands. In this time, he was not beaten out of the soul by the opponent. Because Stephen knew the existence of magician. And how could he not know about Scarlet Witch? Stephen knew about the existence of magicians. So Stephen is not as impatient and arrogant as before. Instead, he sank his heart. Willing to learn. 
The reason why he has the current psychological quality. One is Su Yi's position and sense of security in his heart. The second is that the existence of magician and superhero's worldview made him understand the world again, knowing that this world is not simple. Stephen went in quickly. It came out fast too. The king on the side heard this. He beckoned Stephen to leave the road. Let's go, I'll take you to your future room, and clothes and things. Stephen looked at the clothes the magician was wearing outside. I'm going to wear these clothes similar to school uniforms in the future. You don't need to wear it. Wong looked at Stephen, but it will allow you to learn magic quickly. Okay, I'll wear it, don't let anyone snatch it from me. Wait for the two to walk halfway. Stephen asked on a whim. Then if I wear two pieces at the same time, will the learning speed be x2? Can I keep my phone? No, this will affect your concentration. You can only get your phone back after you become a magician or quit. Then when can I move freely? After you become a magician, you can move freely. That. Wait until you become a magician. That's all. Stephen remained in Kamar Taj. Started to learn spells and become a new life of magician. New York at the moment. The roof of the northern building. Su Yi and Gwen were wearing pajamas, but they continued to play the rest of yesterday's game in a vacuum. That is, two people. And during this time, Su Yi and Gwen have reached the final level. Below the final stage and band, the characters controlled by the two go through various levels, including tunnels, musical instruments, and PK. Characters controlled by Gwen and Su Yi perform a concert. An exquisite performance was completed in front of, backquote, the crowd. The last two passed through the tunnel of illusion. Let the men and women under their control kiss each other once. Finally in a blank, two game characters also returned to the real world. Clear customs. Woohoo. After seeing the customs clearance, Gwen jumped up from Su Yi's arms happily. This is the first time the two have cooperated to play a customs clearance game, which is very commemorative. So Gwen was bouncing around happily. He also took out his mobile phone and took a picture of two people holding PS5 controllers, and the background is a photo of two people passing the customs in a row. I'm going to post this picture on Facebook and TikTok. Let my classmates envy me. Su, can I? Because there is Su Yi in the photo, Gwen wants to ask Su Yi's opinion. But Su Yi asked suspiciously. But do you think about the consequences of being seen by your father? It's okay. Gwen put her hands on her hips. I blocked my parents a long time ago. Okay. So filial. Great filial piety to the family members. Su Yi couldn't laugh or cry when he heard this. Then you pass it on. I don't care. No one in the public knows me. See. This is the benefit of being a superhero on the sideline. You can even have a public life. And hardly affected. But like Black Widow, Iron Man, Thor, Captain America, will they do it? Definitely not. If Captain America made a mistake and posted a bird photo, the internet would be blown up. His bright image collapsed directly. But Su Yi is different. Even if he becomes famous and gets blasted, it doesn't matter. Because he is not a good person. Well, as long as I am a ruin, the character design will not collapse. So Gwen happily uploaded the photos. At the moment it's already afternoon. Gee, there was a sound of hunger in Gwen's belly. The two of them just had breakfast so far. As for lunch. Forget. Forgot to play games. Just remembering now that I'm hungry. I'll cook, you get out the dessert and drinks and get Gwen ready. Su Yi put down the handle and got up to cook. In the previous check-in. Su Yi punched in the master's recipes of various dishes. Such as braised pork, spaghetti beef, Qian Li's steak, instant noodles and so on. None of these can be done. Because Su Yi didn't buy food. But there are steaks at home. So Su Yi is going to fry the steak, then fry it, and mix it into the egg fried rice. Yes, it is like that. Su, I'm here to help. After Gwen took out the milk tea for the two of them. Bouncing around, he followed Su Yi into the kitchen. But after seeing Su Yi's operation of frying the steak, cutting it into pieces, and finally mixing it into fried rice with eggs. Gwen was puzzled. What's this? Steak and egg fried rice, Ms. Spider. After Su Yi finished speaking, he thought about it and added another sentence. Super plus 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 pro plus max luxurious steak and egg fried rice. In Gwen's curiosity, 
Su Yi brought two plates of steak and egg fried rice to the table. Then start at the same time as Gwen. The result is naturally. Quote, comma, 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 exclamation mark, quote. Gwen nearly ate the plate. Ah, ah, ah. The corner of Su Yi's mouth twitched. Gwen pawed slowly, making a sound like Xiao Xiao. If it wasn't for the person in front of him, it would be Gwen. Su Yi thought it was his pet. Don't choke. After Su Yi finished speaking, he started to dazzle himself. As a result, Gwen picked up her own milk tea in an instant. Gulu, Gulu, Gulu. Ah, okay. Su Yi ate his own fried rice. After Gwen finished eating, he took the initiative to wash his own dishes. Su Yi is very satisfied with this. But after a while, Su Yi just finished eating. Shall we go outside and play? Gwen Gang suggested Song. A message came from Su Yi's cell phone. Take it out and have a look. It's from Wanda. Wanda, Su, we are at an airport in Daguo. Captain America and Iron Man are about to fight. Who should I help? Or not? I am very hesitation now. Seeing this, Su Yi showed the information to Gwen. How about going to Daguo Airport in the afternoon? Okay. Before Su Yi and Gwen had dinner. Daguo Airport. After the last chase and fight, both sides converged on the hapless airport flat. Tony looked at Winter Soldier standing next to Captain America. So for him, you must come to the country first, and then go to the UN Parliament, right? Captain America looked at Winter Soldier, it's sort of. Just for a criminal. To divide the Avengers, to cause a civil war among the Avengers. Tony, Bucky is not a criminal, he is being controlled, and my purpose is to free all superheroes, not to divide. But that's what you do. Tony came up with a confrontation with Captain America. People from both sides stood on both sides. The former teammates at the moment all looked at each other with bad eyes. This is the civil war. Tony turned to look at the other Avengers Alliance members. Ant-Man he didn't know. Both Falcon and Captain America are from the military, so that's normal. But, Tony asked, looking at Hawkeye. Why did you join his team? Hawkeye held the bow in one hand, pinched the arrow in the other, and raised his eyebrows. I have no choice. If the superhero registration law is officially implemented, my family will not be able to live a normal life. So I have to prevent the normal implementation of this agreement. Unless, I withdrew from the team and took my family into hiding. Hawkeye said the slightly unfeeling words in a flat tone. But it's also true. Family is definitely bigger than teammates. If the life of the family cannot be guaranteed, then Hawkeye chooses to protect the family. Once the superhero registration law is implemented, all superheroes have to go on board. Otherwise, it is considered a violation of the law. And the superhero's family also needs to board the plane. You even have to give a permanent address, and your family must live there, and you are not allowed to move. Even if you move, you need to notify. In other words, Family members also need to be monitored. Can this be tolerated? I quit. So everyone was a little silent after hearing Hawkeye's explanation. Because Hawkeye was right. He has his reasons. Okay, no problem. Tony understood too. Then he nodded and looked at Captain America again. So, you insist on blocking the progress of the agreement now, don't you? Then I should ask you. At this time, Captain America looked at Tony and asked back. If you were pushed down this road, what would you do? As soon as this sentence came out, Tony was stunned, and a lot of memories appeared. After half a sound, he came back and said, I once had a chance to allow superheroes to completely protect this planet, but the plan failed and caused irreparable consequences. Now we have no chance. It is impossible for superhero to fight against the world. That violates our original intention 640. If I am like you, Avengers can only be disbanded or become a subsidiary force of the United Nations. And we can only hide and hide, and we will never be able to show our faces and let justice shine. Tony also has Tony's problems. He tried, but he failed. The only chance is gone. Rebellion means the Stark Corporation is gone, the Avengers are gone, everything is gone. Pepper Pepper's good life is gone, too. Tony isn't free like Captain America. There is a group of people behind him. He can't be willful anymore. At the moment, Tony is like an adult, but Captain America is like an immature child. Here here, Captain America, including everyone, nodded. 
It seems that we all have our own reasons, don't we? Captain America spread his hands. Then what should we do now? Natasha Romanoff looked at her former teammates and sighed. There's nothing to talk about. Captain America shook his head. No matter what, we have to leave within an hour, and no one can stop us. Hearing this, everyone was silent for a while. That means there is nothing to talk about. That is to say, Avengers, Civil War is really coming. At the moment the rear of the crowd. Wanda looked at everyone very hesitation. In all fairness, no one here treats her badly, but they also treat her so well. So strictly speaking, Wanda has the same attitude towards everyone here. All colleagues. But now the problem. Colleagues strike up. What to do? So in this hesitation, Wanda took out her phone and secretly sent a message to Su Yi. Meanwhile Tony's Friday moment reminder. Sir, Miss Wanda is sending a message to Mr. Su Yi, do you want to intercept it? Tony froze for a moment. He thought quickly. Wanda isn't strictly sure which side to take. And Tony thought he knew Su Yi. The two are still working together. So if Su Yi comes over, Tony seems to have a better chance of winning. Then Tony ordered decisively. Do not intercept, speed up sending. So Su Yi received a text message. But here the text message has just been sent. Wanda's little trick was definitely seen by Hawkeye and Captain America too. The two exchanged glances, then immediately ran towards the airport. The rest of Ant-Man and Winter Soldier quickly followed. Tony. Natasha Romanoff immediately reminded Captain America when she saw Captain America taking people away. I know. Tony's face darkened. He raised the energy cannon in his hand and started Abite bombarding them to stop. And Captain America used the shield when Tony was forced to defend. That's all. Civil war is imminent. The other side. Upstate building in New York. Su Yi and Gwen had just changed their clothes and were about to go downstairs. Gwen changed into her spider battlesuit. Is brand new. As for why it's all new. Because the old ones were torn up by Su Yi. And Su Yi also changed into a more everyday shirt and slacks. Then put on the shoes, and went out with the jumping Gwen. First get off the independent elevator to the underground garage. Only then did Gwen react and ask. Su, how do we go to Deguo? If we go normally, we will be exempted. Pop. Su Yi patted her little cheek. Give it to me. The two came to the underground garage and found the fiery red sky. Gwen was taken aback. You want to bring the car too. Slap. Su Yi patted Gwen's small chest a little harder. Tell me to leave it to me. This hit was a little heavy. Gwen rubbed her backside and pouted. Bullying. But Su Yi turned his back on him. Gwen smiled again. I do not know what happened. Gwen still likes Su Yi beating herself not too lightly but not too hard. The two came to the front and back of the car. Su Yi raised his hand and made a gesture of snapping his fingers and asked. Are you ready, Gwen, put on your hood. Huh. Gwen was taken aback, and immediately put on the hood with white pink eye sockets. Then Su Yi snapped his fingers. The Phoenix Force surged instantly. And in the underground garage, the two of them disappeared in an instant. Next moment, in Deguo Airport, Captain America is fighting Iron Man. Natasha Romanoff is holding Hawkeye. And Wanda looked left and right, waved his hands directly, and used origin magic power to grab Falcon and Winter Soldier and trap them. What? Winter Soldier was stunned when he saw that he was caught by a Scarlet ability. And no matter how hard he struggles, he can't break free from the shackles of energy. It's like being imprisoned. What is this? Winter Soldier was controlled for so many years. It has long been derailed from the normal world. Magic is really too unknown in his eyes. And Falcon almost pissed himself when he saw this red energy wrapping himself. He knows how powerful this energy is. The truck can be squeezed into a ball by Wanda. Then the two of them have not been squeezed into scum. He yelled frantically at Captain America. Captain. Captain. Winter Soldier asked in bewilderment when he saw Falcon almost peeing in fear. Why are you so afraid? What the hell is this? And Falcon has no time to explain. Now as long as Wanda wants to. He can turn into a blood mist in two seconds. So Falcon could only scream like hell. Captain America. Captain America. Captain America turned his head when he heard the voice. He also panicked instantly. Civil wars are civil wars. 
But killing each other is internal killing. This is much worse than a civil war. And once life is counted, that is the end of endless death. Don't want. Captain America kicks Iron Man away. Then yell at Wanda. Don't kill them. Wanda in the distance was taken aback. She didn't want to kill either. Just pinch and play, don't let go. Even they fight. So Wanda thought about it. She flipped her hands, made two bangs, and said after pressing Falcon and Winter Soldier to the ground. No problem, but the two of them have to disconnect for a while. In this way, Wanda can no longer participate in the war. Don't worry about too many things. She only needs to press the two of them. Tighter. At this time, a message came from Wanda's cell phone. When Wanda heard it, it was a special reminder, which was sent by Su Yi. She quickly let go of the hands holding the two of them. Then he took out his phone and looked at the message. Su Yi, I'll be there right away. Wanda, almost there. Next moment, a layer of red light appeared on the airport ground. Then the red light flashed and then disappeared. The two appeared on the scene of the civil war in a car. What? Tony was taken aback looking at Su Yi's way of approaching. What kind of technology is this? And Captain America frowned watching the two appear in a car. Because intuition told him, something is going to happen. And Natasha Romanoff looked at the people around Su Yi in a daze. Ms. Spider. Natasha Romanoff didn't expect that. Ms. Spider and Su Yi are together. It must be unusual for these two to come together. And Wanda is the most interesting person at heart. She only reacted now. Gwen equals Lady Spider. It turned out that Gwen, who was always by Su Yi's side, was not an ordinary person. It's a shame she still treats Gwen like a normal little girl. It turned out that she was hiding. Come superhero. Seeing Wanda's eyes, Su Yi felt a little shy and explained. Ahem, I only found out about it recently. Indeed. Strictly speaking, Gwen took the initiative to expose that day. It was the day the Lizardmen ended. It really hasn't been long since that day. It's not Su Yi's fault. And the others at the scene didn't say anything. Some of them didn't know Su Yi. But perhaps the most opinionated is Captain America. He took the shield and put a card in his hand. Then he stood up and looked at Su Yi and asked. This is an internal matter for Avengers, and we hope that outsiders will not get involved. Captain America said this sentence. The first ones who disliked him were Wanda and Gwen. The two women looked directly at Captain America with hostility. But Su Yi spread his right hand and shook his head. I didn't intend to make a move either. It's just that Wanda is psychologically very hesitation and entangled, so I'm here to enlighten her. By the way, solve her hesitation. There are many ways to smooth things out in this world. And you don't have to do it yourself. It is the simplest one. Captain America heard this. I knew that Su Yi would not intervene, but he would take care of this matter because of Wanda. This made Captain America very unhappy. She looked at Wanda and shook her head. The internal affairs of the Avengers Alliance should not involve any outsiders, you should tell the outsiders the inside news. You broke the rules, Scarlet Witch. And Wanda looked at Captain America, and said without giving in. This interior is rotten. Sue is also my partner, and there is nothing unreasonable about inviting my partner to settle internal matters. Wanda just said this sentence. Captain America's expression didn't change. Gwen's face changed first. In her ears, Wanda is exposing the relationship in public. Then Wanda will be the first to be exposed. This can't work. So Gwen was wearing a spider suit, and immediately hugged Su Yi's arm. But he agreed with Wanda's statement. That's right, what's unreasonable? Hear Gwen's words. Everyone turned their heads to look at Gwen who was hugging Su Yi's arm. Wanda saw it too. So she smiled at Su Yi. But Su Yi could feel the malicious intentions from this smile. Tisk. Only now did Su Yi realize. Coming to play seems like a mistake. He should just throw Skyfire over. What are you and Gwen doing here? Isn't this what he is looking for? Well, but things have happened. Su Yi could only speak calmly and methodically. I'm watching, you keep fighting. But I can give you a fair advice. For example, if Wanda doesn't make a move, I will replace the little Spider-Man next to me and have a fair fight with you. Whoever wins makes the decision. That's the point of the matter. It is impossible to sit down and have a good chat to solve the problem. The primitive instinct of human beings is to decide to survive by fighting. Then it is the same now. 
To this end, after Tony, Black Widow, War Machine, Black Panther and others exchanged glances. Then Chi Chi nodded in agreement. But Captain America doesn't think so. After he exchanged glances with Winter Soldier, Ant-Man, Falcon, and Hawkeye. None of them nodded. No nod is rejection. So Captain America didn't check the time at all, but shook his head and said to Su Yi. There is no time, we are doing big things, so don't stop us if you are sensible. Finished. The character of Captain America who is not afraid of anything is shown. He waved his hand. Go. Then they took Winter Soldier, Ant-Man, Falcon, and Hawkeye and ran towards the fighter plane. Seeing this, Su Yi didn't take care of them immediately. Instead, he smiled helplessly and shook his head. This is a rush for Tony and Natasha Romanoff. Su. And Wanda and Gwen looked at Su Yi calmly. They are in no hurry. They completely trusted Su Yi. And Su Yi looked at Gwen and asked. Do you want to fight today, you just pick one. I think. Gwen nodded immediately, then looked at the fleeing crowd, pointing at the man with scrawled hair. I'm going to hit that metal arm. Good. Su Yi nodded and raised his right hand. Slap. Snap your fingers. The five people who were running away continued to run. But they got back to where they were and ran over. That is, they just ran in front of Tony's group. Now run over again. Everyone in Captain America stared. Medium. What happened? Never mind. Keep running. Captain America waved his hand, and everyone continued to run. After they ran for a while. Crack. Su Yi snapped his fingers. The group ran past Tony's group for the third time. Everyone looked at this dramatic side. Natasha Romanoff and War Machine were dumbfounded. Pissed. But at the same time Tony and War Machine both laughed. So they're running a race, right? War Machine landed and opened his mask and smiled at Tony. What do you mean Tony, what are they doing? I don't know many islands. Tony opened his mask and spread his hands. There is a group of people running around in front of me. They seem to be saying that time is short, so don't stop them if you are sensible but I don't know why they are running laps here. Is it a warm-up exercise? Tony and Rhodes looked at each other. Then laughed together. Ha 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 ha. Natasha Romanoff stands aside. The agent's cold face, which usually can't help but laugh, can't hide the smile. The corners of his mouth kept smiling. And after hearing the laughter of the crowd, Captain America and his party stopped running and stopped to catch their breath. Who? Dot who who? Falcon and Winter Soldier are okay, just a little breathless. But Ant-Man fell to his knees all at once. Ahem, I can't come up, brothers. He knelt there almost coughing out his lungs. Captain America panted slightly, looked at Ant-Man, then at Tony and the others. Finally, he looked at Su Yi and said. What do you want to do? Let me tell you, be fair. Su Yi said still calmly, you fight normally, and whoever wins will talk. Heard the words. Captain America looked at Su Yi with unfriendly eyes. And Su Yi didn't care. Also watch Captain America as usual. Or, do you want to run all day? As soon as this sentence came out, Tony couldn't hold back anymore. This is the common saying of Captain America. I could fight with you all day. Quote. But here, running all day is clearly a shame. At this point, Captain America looked at the crowd. Then exchanged glances with your teammates. Then there was a click. He took off the shield from the arm mount and held it in his hand. Finally, he nodded towards Su Yi and said. Okay, tell your people to come down and fight. Now that Captain America agrees. Tony and his group all looked at Su Yi. Waiting for his reply. So Su Yi patted Gwen on the shoulder and said softly. Go ahead, pick your white eye and hit it with your left hand. As soon as this statement came out. Kaka. Both the war machine and Tony put on their warframe visors at the same time. Natasha Romanoff also raised her hand to fight. Gwen shoots cobweb and flips in the air. She said directly in the air. The one with the silver arm, come and fight. And Gwen's words were like a signal for war. Ha! Huh. Captain America yelled, and rushed towards Tony with the shield in hand. Tony held up the energy cannon in his hand. Also shouting the name of Captain America and fighting head on. Almost instantly, the former teammates, the superheroes, started fighting here. Tisk. Seeing this, Su Yi shook his head helplessly. This is the team. If you do well, things will go smoothly, but if you don't do well, things will fall apart. 
Wanda is the second batch of Avengers Alliance members. But she also has a deep feeling. A superhero amplifies what's on your mind. Everyone has their own personal. Only the same goal and interests can bind everyone together. But once there is a difference of opinion, the strife has begun. Su Yi nodded. Then watch Gwen beat Winter Soldier with Wanda. Gwen now has a power of 12 spells. When she uses the bull charm, she can directly kick Winter Soldier dozens of meters away. And when using the rabbit charm, Winter Soldier can only see after images. Then it's still a lap or a kick. This was when Gwen wasn't using any other outrageous spells. Otherwise, the pig charm and the dragon charm can instantly kill Winter Soldier. It's just a top human combat power. Under the American comics worldview, it is really weak. Wanda is not at war right now. It's because even if Wanda has not received the magician's systematic training, all of them can be crushed to death without any spells. So Suyi didn't let Wanda join the battle. It is not necessary at all. It's completely different. Um, Suyi nodded and looked around. But then he was taken aback. Wanda, what about Hila you're talking about? Um, Wanda froze for a moment as she looked around. It was found that there was no sign of Hila. Yeah, where's Hila? She got off Tony's private jet with us. Hear this. Suyi's mouth twitched. This Hila looks like he knows what to do. This crazy woman. I really want to crush her to death. Wanda looked at Su Yi with a strange expression. So I asked a little worried. What's wrong, is there a problem with Hila? This. Not really. Alas. Su Yi sighed helplessly. This woman is a lunatic, she has been pestering me last night, asking me to help him regain the position of God King of Asgard. I'm so idle, why should I help her? So she kept pestering me. I dropped her at the Avengers Alliance last night just to see if you guys would beat her up. I didn't expect you to become friends. Wanda. No wonder she wanted to ask about you last night, Sue. Wanda was furious when she heard it. I feel that something is wrong with her, and the way she speaks is also very strange. After entering the base last night, the very first sentence Hila said made Wanda feel hostile. Tell Wanda intuitively. There's something wrong with this woman. But not big. But now it seems that the real economic problem is not big. But it's a big problem when it comes to robbing men. This Gila. Wanda's mouth was about to puff up in anger. When I meet her, I must beat her. Suyi thought about the strength of Wanda and Gila. Words now. Wanda may not be able to beat Gila. Because that night sky sword Wanda is very likely to be unstoppable. But as long as Wanda went to Kamar Taj to study. That would definitely beat Gila. And it can be crushed directly. But that's all for later. Su Yi put his arms around Wanda's waist, patted her and said softly. The Avengers Alliance is still having internal conflicts. After this civil war, the Avengers Alliance will be divided. 17. I intend to send you to Kamar Taj for magician practice in a few days. Wanda nodded. Yes, she knew that Su Yi was doing it for her own good. And Wanda has also become more powerful. Only in this way can the relationship between the two be preserved. But Wanda thought about it, and then asked doubtfully. But where is Kamar Taj? Himalayas. Ah. Wanda let out a sigh of regret. Himalayas. How far is that? When can I come back after going? Su Yi felt Wanda's worry. So he ruffled Wanda's hair and said. So you have two options. Asterisk 1. Concentrate on studying in Kamar Taj, and you will be able to come back every night after you learn the teleportation spell. So you can't come back in the early stage, but the learning speed is the fastest. Quote. 2. You study back and forth through the magician holy place in New York every day so you can come back every day from day 1, but the slowest learning rate. Asterisk 3. Every time you go to study for 5 days, you will come back to rest for 2 days through the holy place. This method is more moderate and depends on yourself. Quote. Faced with 3 choices, Wanda was lost in thought. After half a sound, while Su Yi watched Gwen beat Winter Soldier violently, Wanda hugged Su Yi suddenly. Bury her face in Su Yi's chest. Su, you are so kind to me. Su Yi stroked her hair, agreed without any affectation, and. I love you, I know. For a moment, Wanda raised her head, looked into Su Yi's ear, said a few words, and then buried her down. The corner of Su Yi's mouth showed a smile. If you have to exaggerate to describe it. 
That is, the corners of the mouth are almost grinning into venom. Because what Wanda said was, wait for me at night. Immediately afterwards, Wanda hugged Su Yi and continued to answer the question just now. Su, I really want to choose the second one, so that I can be with you every day. Su Yi patted her head. Still gently replied, I know. And Wanda continued talking, but I know I have to choose one, not even three. That little girl Gwen's feelings for you must be ahead of me now, and I have to surpass her. I have to become better, I can't let my ability go to waste. Only in this way can we be together forever. These words of Wanda. Su Yi agrees. Two people are together to become better. And not to get worse together. So Su Yi pinched her ears again to encourage her. Everything. Yeah. And after being pinched by Su Yi's ear, Wanda's body went limp immediately. Su Yi let go of his hand immediately, and Wanda stood upright. Slap. Wanda became angry and slapped Su Yi lightly. Then he muttered embarrassingly. My ears are so, don't pinch my ears outside. Oh, Su Yi suddenly realized. This made him discover the point. Then you're screwed Wanda. I understand. Su Yi said quietly. I'll pinch it when I get home at night. Snap. Wanda immediately slapped Su Yi again. Hit it. Su Yi raised his chin and placed it on Wanda's head. Anyway, no matter how many times you hit me now, I will hit you as many times as you want in the evening. Immediately. Wanda raised her hand and let it go. How dare you fight here? Otherwise, it will be too much. She will be, beaten to death, when she returns. Bang. At this time, a figure flew not far from the two of them. Su Yi and Wanda looked back. Yo, isn't this Winter Soldier? Who hit it? Su Yi looked up again. Oh wish Gwen. That's fine. Pissed. At this time, Gwen Yi Le Cobweb flew over. Then he asked with a guarantee of Su Yi's arm. What are you talking about? Wanda hugged Su Yi's other arm. Then he glared at Gwen and said. Talking about things without you. And Gwen snorted. She knew that the two of them should not quarrel, otherwise Su Yi would be unhappy and angry. So she is determined not to quarrel with Wanda. Even if you are at a disadvantage. Moreover, Su Yi's personality is gentle and clear. He can sense your mood and state of mind. And it also puts people in the shoes of those around them. So Su Yi will definitely not let herself get angry, as long as she is obedient. So what else do you need for a bike? And after Wanda saw that Gwen didn't want to conflict with herself at all. She raised her head and looked at Su Yi. Immediately understood Gwen's intentions. Good guy. Not very old. But so dainty. So Wanda is decisive and not noisy. He also hugged Su Yi's other arm obediently. Su Yi saw this. Immediately, I felt that I had come to the right place. What shouldn't come here to play? Should come here to play. There is no such opportunity today. It's the first time two women meet like this, so they can't wait for a chance to quarrel. This is literally God help me too. Su Yi suddenly smiled happily. His two hands are being surrounded by two honeydew melons and two grapefruits. So be happy both physically and mentally. Hiss. Ah. At this time. There was a hissing sound behind the three of them. The three looked back. Winter Soldier lay on the ground and was struggling to get up. He struggled for a long time before sitting on the ground and taking a breath. After Gwen saw it, a little embarrassed to say. It seems a bit heavy to start. I'm fine, I'm fine. Winter Soldier's face turned bitter, and he waved his hand, saying, You didn't kill me, I'm already very grateful to you. With Gwen's current strength. Hitting the spike Winter Soldier is easy enough. And Gwen didn't hurt him by beating him like this. This is actually a lot of care. Otherwise a key attack. Winter Soldier will have to lie in bed for a few months. Bang. At the moment, there was still the sound of fierce fighting in the distance. Ant-Man is getting bigger and fighting War Machine. Natasha Romanoff is fighting Hawkeye. Tony is doing crazy solo with Captain America. But in fact, everyone did not use their full strength. This is the fear of killing the opponent in one shot. Although unlikely, it's not impossible. Gradually. Under the watchful eyes of Su Yi, Gwen, and Wanda. The team fights there are getting more and more intense. But the one that is increasingly failing is Captain America's side. Winter Soldier was the first to be KO'd by Gwen. Then Ant-Man was defeated. Natasha Romanoff and Hawkeye fight back and forth. These two mortals don't talk about it. 
Then defeat Ant Man's war machine to help Tony. Then the two Warframes flew into the air and entangled with Falcon. In the end, Vision hit the wrong person with a laser. Directly hit the energy source of War Machine, knocking Rhodes directly from the sky. It was too late when Tony found out. Rhodes fell from a height of 100 meters. It hit the ground heavily. After a loud bang, Captain America stopped. Natasha Romanoff and Hawkeye also stopped. Everyone stopped. As soon as Tony landed, he immediately opened Rhodes' mask in the pit. Then I saw Rhodes bleeding from the corner of his mouth and nose. Is he alright? Wanda asked looking into the distance. It's okay. Suyi couldn't pull out his hand, otherwise he wanted to touch Wanda's head. With the protection of Tony's armor, it will recover in the future, but it will take a few months. That is not bad. Everyone is relieved. 2,703,101. How to say can be regarded as colleagues. It's like when you go to work and hear a colleague you know go ga. Then you are not too happy. Unless he is your enemy. And after coma from War Machine. The team battle has come to a complete stop. Captain America checked the time. He shook his teammates and said, it's too late. But Winter Soldier got up and walked over to Captain America and said, you can try. Captain America thought for a moment. He looked at Rhodes, and then at Suyi who was no longer doing anything. Only then nodded. Walk. Tony at the moment was looking at Rhodes and called the emergency number. And still trying to face Captain America. He didn't care. Time has passed. It doesn't matter whether Captain America succeeds or not. He is enough. Also seriously injured a friend. When Suyi saw this, his figure flashed and appeared beside Tony. Tony looked down at Rhodes. But man did not in reply. Thank you, Loth. I know you want to prevent us from being completely divided as an outsider. No matter what, I will keep your help this time in my heart. Su Yi is behind Tony. In fact, he really wanted to say that what Tony said was only one tenth right at most. But look at Tony being so serious. That's what you say. You are right. But Tony's words. Su Yi nodded, expressing his satisfaction. Tony was right about a third of the time. Another third is for Wanda. The last third is for Gwen to play. The last point is that Suyi wants to watch a movie. Ahem, but the end result is the same. Pretty much the same anyway. He's just going with the flow. I am leaving. Suyi nodded, ready to leave with the two girls. But Gwen's cell phone rang suddenly. Gwen looked at it, and immediately picked up the phone nervously. Because it was her dad's phone number. Gwen. Um, I'm here. Where are you? Hearing this sentence, Gwen knew something was wrong. But she can't tell the truth. Gwen could only reply to the phone. I'll be right back. Can you be right back? I'm calling you from an international phone. Gwen. Degree. Gwen hung up the phone in shock. Then ran to Su Yi and cried. It's over, Su. When my dad called me, he realized it was an international call. He now knows I'm abroad. What to do? Look at Gwen's hapless smiling face. Su Yi smiled and squeezed. Fine, go back and tell me your name. Just say that I will take you to Germany to participate in the transnational medical exchange meeting. I also visited the precise German craftsmanship, especially those precision medical instruments. Gwen was taken aback. After thinking about it, she turned back and smiled. Yes, then I will say so. But, what if my dad wants to hit me? Gwen still hugged Su Yi tightly and said. If my dad hits me, I'll run away. Then Sue, you want to take me in. When Gwen said this sentence, Wanda tilted her head aside. Wanda, are you messing with gods and demons? April 17th, are you sure you didn't run away from home on purpose? No problem. And Sue Yi patted Gwen's head. Don't worry, just do as I tell you. Okay. Gwen nodded. After comforting the two of them, Sue Yi put his arms around Wanda and Gwen then nodded to everyone present. Gone. Facing Su Yi's departure, everyone looked over, nodded their thanks and watched them leave. This is probably the highest etiquette. Snap. With Phoenix Force pouring out. Next moment, the three of Su Yi and Ferrari disappeared at the same time. But it just teleported back from Germany to the underground garage in New York of the United States. Well, thousands of kilometers in an instant. Simple. I'm going. See you later, Sue. And once back in New York. Gwen was bouncing back home in no time.
Her father is absolutely waiting for her at home now. It's hard to tell the ending when I go back late. Bye, be careful when swinging in the sky. Su Yi waved his hand. I know. After a while, Gwen's slender and vigorous figure disappeared before the two of them. Seeing Gwen go, Wanda hugged Su Yi immediately. At the same time, Su Yi also felt her heart. So he hugged her almost at the same time. Tisk. The two were printed together. Immediately began the technical exchange. Wanda first dared to confront Su Yi head on. But then he was beaten back by Su Yi. After a while, Su Yi took the initiative to move the dizzy Wanda away. Then ask her slowly. You want to roast all afternoon and night, and enjoy the fruit at the end. Or do you want to roast it now and eat it right away? This sentence has a lot of meaning. Wanda thought about it and chose one. I've waited so long, and it's definitely not advisable to wait these last few hours, so I choose the first method. Okay, get in the car. After choosing a good production method, Su Yi and Wanda got into the car without any hesitation. Today is at least the first day of the weekend. They have a lot of time to be happy. So Su Yi stepped on the accelerator. Ferrari makes a whooping sound. Then an acceleration almost flew out of the underground garage. Go straight out. Su Yi took Wanda to the beach first. The two were frolicking on the beach, playing in the seawater. Wait until the game is over. In an alley in Su Yi, the two of them dried all their clothes. Then drive to the next place. Wow. Ferrari roared. Then the Phoenix Force poured out. After a ray of light appeared. Su Yi drove the car to Venice. The two took a quick look at Italy's famous water city. After the two of them played for a while. Then the Phoenix Force surged again. The duo is back in Bali to see the rainbow-colored skies and islands. After the two continued to play for a while. And then Phoenix Force again. The two reappeared in Hawaii. That's all. From afternoon to evening. An average of two hours a country. Su Yi and Wanda have played a total of five countries. Facing this way of playing. Su Yi explained it like this. Let's take a rough look first. If you like it, we'll come back after you learn the spell. And Wanda was so happy and full of joy. Very good. Then we can see every corner of the earth. Su Yi nodded. Definitely can. At last. After going around the world. The two drove back to New York again. It's time for dinner. But Su Yi didn't intend to take Wanda to the restaurant. Instead, he entered a mall. Huh. Wanda was a little puzzled. She took Su Yi's hand. What are we going to buy? Let me think about it. Don't say it first. Do you like shopping for clothes? No. Su Yi shook his head, took Wanda out of the car and walked into the mall. No. Wanda was still confused. Then what to buy? Su Yi looked at Wanda. Then he took her straight into the middle of the meat area and the vegetable area. It's grocery shopping, you little fool. Su Yi pinched Wanda's face. The restaurant cooks dinner, can we have our own dinner? After finishing these two sentences, Su Yi continued to hold Wanda's hand and walked away. But just two steps away, he could feel Wanda's heart jumping up and down suddenly with mixed feelings. When he turns around again, Wanda was already in tears. Su Yi looked around. With a wave of his hand, he immediately used energy to hide the perception of the two people around him. Then he reached out and hugged Wanda and asked softly. What's wrong with you, Wanda? Woo, Wanda cried in Su Yi's arms. But Su Yi didn't feel her sad emotions. It's a kind of weeping with joy. Or an emotion that is so happy that you cry. What's going on here? Su Yi didn't understand at all. But Wanda took the initiative to explain. She hugged Su Yi. Bury your face in your chest. After a while, he said with his mentality. In the past, I went shopping with my parents, and when I went home to cook, the whole room felt like home. But since my parents passed away, the smell has disappeared. Sue, but you let me enjoy this feeling again. I really, I really, said behind. Wanda was too excited to speak. Okay okay. Sue Yi hugged Wanda. The big hand ran across her hair, and then patted her on the back to comfort her. I thought it was something. Don't worry, the taste of home will always be there in the future. I promise. Wanda hugged Su Yi tightly. Hug very tightly. It's like never wanting to be apart. The two hugged like this for a long time. After about half an hour. Finally calmed down, Wanda left Su Yi's embrace. Su Yi reached out and wiped away her tears. 
Wanda also said with a smile through her tears. Let's go, let's sell vegetables and cook for ourselves. Well, cook for yourself. That's all. The two frantically picked vegetables at the vegetable market. Do you want this? Sue. Yes, you go and buy some more potatoes. Okay, what about this? No, you go and buy me a fish. Then what about this, this, and this? Wanda, we only have two mouths. Four dishes are enough, we can't finish five. It seems like alas, but we can also eat after waking up. Don't waste food, why don't you eat fresh ones when you wake up? Okay. At last, the two of them prepared to leave the mall with big bags and small bags. Wanda looked left and right. Su Yi was tapped suddenly. Huh, Su Yi turned to look at Wanda. Wanda pointed to a special music store. To know, in the United States, this kind of music store can be opened in this kind of place. You don't want to buy it. Su Yi's eyes suddenly brightened. Wanda smiled, didn't speak, just reached out to Min. Card, I will give you a reward today. Here, Su Yi handed the card to Wanda instantly. My bank card password is 2000. After, Su Yi watched Wanda walk into the shop. He waited expectantly for Wanda to come out. At the moment Su Yi can guarantee it. This is the moment he is looking forward to the most since his life. After a while, Wanda came out carrying a privacy bag. Su Yi's eyes lit up. Give me Kang Kang. Go, Wanda patted Su Yi. We'll see when we go home. W. Also, Su Yi immediately took Wanda home. I bought them anyway. I can't run away. It can be used early or late. Heck, it's all the same. Just buy it. After a while, Su Yi almost stepped on the accelerator to go home. If not conditions do not allow. He can't wait to step on the gas pedal into the gas tank. Drive into the underground garage. Park your car. The first bag that Su Yi took was that special bag. Then take the vegetable basket. Then take the private elevator upstairs with Wanda. The roof reaches the top floor. Open the door and change your shoes. Su Yi said nothing. As soon as the vegetable basket is put away. Quote comma 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 exclamation mark quote. Open directly. The packaging of this kind of thing is generally very good. So it all depends on tearing. Ah. And Wanda wanted to stop it immediately when she saw it. Isn't it too embarrassing to tear it up in person? But Su Yi had finished tearing it up at this time. After he looked at the translucent clothes and the particularly short skirts and clothes inside. Su Yi nodded very satisfied. Then stuff it back and carry the vegetable basket directly into the kitchen. I'll cook. Go fast. It's not a shame to say. Su Yi is in a hurry now. Really urgent. You call him King Gigi now and he recognizes it. Just call. Nothing to worry about. Now it was Wanda's turn to roll her eyes helplessly. Then follow Su Yi to cook. About an hour or less. Su Yi brought out all five dishes one by one. There are Chinese dishes as well as foreign dishes. Had potato squat beef. There are also salad platters. All in all delicious. Dinner time. After Su Yi yelled. Wanda finally picked out a bottle of wine in front of the wine rack. This should be delicious, right? Su Yi looked at the wine and nodded. Not bad, the taste is relatively soft, suitable for drinking slowly and for the first time. That's good. Wanda doesn't drink alcohol. She usually drinks fruit juice. But tonight for courage, she has to drink. After the two sat at the table. Then start eating dinner. Wanda picked up a piece of beef and potatoes and tasted it. Then he opened his eyes in surprise. Delicious. Hey, Su Yi smiled proudly. At this point, he is a must. How about it, eat more if it tastes good. Hmm. Wanda is not at all pretentious. She really thinks it's delicious. So he started to flirt with Su Yi. Su Yi just poured the wine. Wanda drank it in one gulp. Then the face became rosy, which was visible to the naked eye. Su Yi knew it right now. Wanda has a constitution that cannot drink alcohol. Get drunk easily. As expected. After drinking two cups. Wanda's face was already smoky red. Eat. Wanda looked at Su Yi, then picked up a piece and handed it to Su Yi, saying, Ah. Su Yi opened his mouth and ate it. Does he know if what he cooks is good or not? Good. Wanda suddenly smiled happily. That's all. After a dinner with a beautiful environment and a full sense of atmosphere. Wanda was so drunk that the world was dark. 
She was humming a song of unknown key. Then he pulled Su Yi up to dance. Under the singing of the TV station, the two danced slowly. Gradually, Wanda jumped hot. Wow. Then with a clatter, Wanda kicked something. She looked down. It was a special packing box that Su Yi had unpacked. For a moment, Wanda raised her head to look at Su Yi again. Another moment, the two joined together. It's like in an oil tank you suddenly throw a firewood into it. It's like a bunch of bombs you suddenly ignite the fuse. Anyway, that's what it means. The sleepless nights have just begun. The raging 4.6 fire burned all night without stopping. Even if someone is shouting no or dying. But at the same time, Hila is being beaten. Yes, really take a beating. About a few hours ago, Hela's signature dark green became a little lighter. She's wrestling with a suit of armor. From Diguo Airport to all over the world. Finally Hila couldn't take it anymore. Happy to find Su Yi again. But she couldn't find Su Yi. She had to keep running, keep running. And that armor just keeps chasing, keeps chasing. Hila originally wanted to build a good relationship with Su Yi and his group. But I didn't expect to be overwhelmed by the destroyer armor when I arrived at the airport. So this is the key to Hela's disappearance. At the moment Hila has just broken through the seal and has been in a state of weakness. And she also found out. My divine power is constantly lost. And it can't be undone. At the moment after she shed the destroyer armor. Hila looked at her tender hands, she quickly found a mirror and looked at them. As a result, she and the mirror seemed to have returned to the past. The face and body have changed back to when they fought in Asgard. No, Hila refused with a full face. How could she have turned into a girl? Maturity is the standard of combat effectiveness. The loss of divine power will make her look younger. So now her body looks like it's back to what it used to be. This also means that the divine power is really gone. And what does it mean for a god to lose his divine power? Hila knows deeply. No, I'm going to find Su. Hila turned her head, looked at the destroyer armor that was chasing after her, and ran away immediately. If the fight continues like this, she is afraid that she will become a lowly. And for Hila, Lolita looks her secondary. The key is that she absolutely cannot accept the disappearance of divine power. This is the accumulation of her hard work for thousands of years. The next day, Su Yi woke up in a warm embrace. It was a lot of fun last night. But it's equivalent to Gwen. Wanda's fighting power is almost not a bit less than Gwen's. Could this be the reason why Gwen's body stats are stronger? Possible. Perhaps this is the nature of the magician. Su Yi thought for a while. Magician. High attack and low defense. It's normal to think so. Magicians are all crispy, and their stamina is not high. Although the attack power is very high, it is normal to run two steps. If you think about it that way, sometimes it is necessary to improve Wanda's physical fitness. Or look for gear that significantly boosts your recovery. Otherwise, Wanda is too weak if it continues like this. So weak. But as the saying goes, evening exercise is not as good as morning exercise. It means... It's better to exercise in the morning than to train later. So this is a serious statement. It's not crooked words. But the reality is another matter. You, an hour later. Su Yi went to the bathroom refreshed and took a hot shower. Snap. Then snap your fingers and go down. The whole room looked clean again. Ding. Congratulations to Su Yi for winning the title, which night. Huh. Su Yi was taken aback when he saw the title. Is the effect the same as before? Yes, it will slightly but permanently increase the check in rewards. Can. After taking a shower, Su Yi looked at the leftovers on the table. He went to heat it up for breakfast to show off. Wait until almost eaten. He put on his clothes and shoes again and went out. Don't say it. When you feel refreshed, going out for activities in the morning will make you feel happier. Even if you don't exercise much. But as long as you come out in the morning. You will feel that today's time is particularly rich. And the mood will be very happy. That's all. Su Yi ran along the beach. But as she was running, she remembered one thing. My Godzilla. Ah. Su Yi thought about Godzilla whom he hadn't seen for a long time. Go and see. Snap. After a snap of the fingers. Su Yi appeared in the deep sea area of an island country. Then go directly to the location where O1 put the heavy nuclear fusion at that time. 
But he found out when he came. Where is my heavy nuclear fusion ball? At that time, Suyi released the spell of isolating radiation on the ball. The file size of the spell is about one meter larger than the diameter of the ball. He did this to prevent the situation where Godzilla couldn't run with the ball after he grew up and was discovered. And it does so as long as Godzilla can stick to the ball. It can absorb radiation to grow. And Godzilla has a unique ability to actively absorb radiation. So don't worry at all. But now the problem is. Where's the ball? Suyi looked around. Godzilla can only be attracted by releasing Phoenix Force again. At that time, he just released ability. It is also to release ability to go. It stands to reason that Godzilla should recognize this energy. After Su Yi was released. About half an hour passed. Su Yi still didn't feel Godzilla approaching. It won't work, will it? Su Yi was taken aback. If this Godzilla dies, he will still be a little sad. After all, it was his first pet. But the next moment. Boom. There was a trembling sound from the seabed. Su Yi also sensed Godzilla's position instantly. No ga. Su Yi responded. The result after a few minutes. A monster with eyes bigger than Su Yirin appeared in front of him. In the deep sea. Don't say this eye is a lantern. It was almost as big as the door of someone's house. If this is the average person, I would probably be scared to pee. But it is Su Yi's pet. How long has it been? Have you grown so big? Su Yi was startled when he looked at the big eyes of the lantern. Did Godzilla grow so fast? Um, roar. Um, and after seeing Su Yi come back, the gigantic Godzilla first let out a humming sound. And then a snarl came out of my throat. It quickly swung its huge tail. Then he dangled around Su Yi. Even the waters of the sea are rolled by the undulating waves of its tail. Okay, okay, how old are they, and they are still like puppies. Su Yi patted its head. Although only one corner can be touched, Godzilla is obviously very happy. Immediately afterwards, Godzilla took a few steps back. Then it opened its mouth in front of Su Yi. Su Yi looked inside to look better. Good guy. No wonder I couldn't find it. So you put it in your mouth like candy. Su Yi couldn't laugh or cry. Godzilla also roared. I see. Su Yi searched for a long time but couldn't find it. The result is in its mouth. That's right. The current Godzilla has an eye that is 2 meters long. That conservative body is tens of meters high. But the diameter of the heavy nuclear fusion ball is only less than 2 meters. That is. Godzilla runs around with a reactor that's not as big as its eyes, and it's completely nuclear lithium. That's right. And after Godzilla opened his mouth to show Su Yi the reactor. Su Yikai noticed that the light on the reactor was turning red. That is, the energy in the heavy nuclear fusion reactor will be used up. So fast. Su Yi was taken aback. You must know that this thing can make the planet engine last for a long time. It ended up being used up so quickly in your mouth. Su Yi shook his head helplessly. Fortunately, he has a lot of these things. There are a thousand of them. Now there are 999 left. So Su Yi took out another reactor. Then put on the spell. Throw it straight into Godzilla's mouth. Ho ho. Immediately, Godzilla almost danced happily. It also made the surrounding sea water sway everywhere. Okay okay. Su Yi looked at Godzilla's appearance and was still very satisfied. Then he nodded and pointed in the direction of the island country. What about you, pick a time and cough up all the radiation in that place. But remember, we love the Earth's environment. So when you eat, you have to eat it clean and don't let it flow into the sea, you know. Just choose those places with nuclear power plants to eat. Su Yi just finished speaking. Ho ho. Godzilla immediately acknowledged with a blink of an eye. Yes, not bad. Su Yi nodded in satisfaction. Cast a spell on Godzilla. This spell is for Godzilla's life saving and positioning. He will know wherever Godzilla is in the future. At the same time, when it is detected that the life of the host is threatened. Godzilla will be teleported to the sea area near Su Yi. That's it. Okay, I'm leaving. After the protective measures are done. Su Yi clapped his hands and prepared to leave. Ho ho ho. At the moment, Godzilla, whose IQ was gradually increasing, became even more sad. Feeling down all over. After seeing it, Su Yi could only say helplessly. Okay, let's play with you for an hour. 
I'm on your head, you take me to fly in the sea. For a moment, Godzilla stared wide-eyed, then nodded sharply. Ever since, over the Pacific Ocean, Suyi rode Godzilla to ride the wind and waves. The two walked through fish schools in the sea, and saw whales and jellyfish. In this short hour, Godzilla took Suyi to see many interesting places in his life during this time. Only now did Suyi understand. Godzilla is sharing. It is sharing its favorite places with Suyi. After understanding these, Suyi patted Godzilla on the head. Thanks, these are very nice. Ho ho ho. Godzilla suddenly became more excited. It mustered up its strength and started to swim. At last while circling the Pacific Ocean, Suyi also discovered Shoudouzi's whaling ship. They are catching several whales with calves. See here. Suyi smiled, patted Godzilla again and said. Go, kill that ship with the bad guys in it. Ho ho ho. After Godzilla heard the order. Immediately, the pigs began to accelerate by leaps and bounds. Wait until the people on board react. Godzilla has hit the ground running. Quote comma 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 exclamation mark quote. A voice swept across the sea appeared. The sea suddenly became rough. But wait until after the calm. Let alone a boat. It's not bad to find the pieces neatly. Suyi patted Godzilla in satisfaction. Remember, this kind of whaling ship will encounter Dushuang later. Ho ho. Godzilla said he knew. None of the ones I saw later would survive. That's all. An hour later. Godzilla is also quite satisfied. Suyi finally touched Godzilla's forehead and said. I'm really leaving this time. When you grow up strong enough. Or when I can compress my body shape, I can meet often. Or, Suyi didn't say the last sentence. Wait until he says goodbye to Godzilla. Suyi said after returning to New York's deserted seaside. Or wait for me to pack you into a superhero, so that you can swim in the sea openly. Yes. In the world of Marvel, Suyi can turn Godzilla into a star. Then become a superhero again by defeating the bad guys. As long as it doesn't hurt anyone. And beat the bad guys. So many people who like it must go to the sea. Godzilla is so beautiful. So domineering. Yes, there is a chance to do so. Suyi thought about it, this plan really works. Just need a chance. But that's okay. The opportunity can wait. It really doesn't work, wait until the Avengers Alliance decisive battle. Others yelled for the Avengers to assemble. Suyi yelled baby. Give it to me. Then Godzilla, hundreds of meters high, breathes out a singularity. All raised to the opposite side. Not bad. Suyi planned this ending very satisfactorily. Very cool. After thinking about it, Suyi planned to go back. Go back and see if Wanda is awake and still has energy. If so, cough cough cough. Sue, at this time, Suyi was just about to go home. A shout came from the direction of the city. Suyi turned his head to look. A girly version of Hila is flying towards me. And behind her is a silver black armor. Suyi knew it at a glance. Isn't this the destroyer armor? And this armor is still firing lasers. Pissed. Boom. Pissed. Boom. The armor is very poorly aimed. A few laser shots went down, only the city was hurt. And tall buildings. Ah. Immediately, people screamed again in the city. Even Suyi felt the tragedy for them. What are you doing this early in the morning? And Hila turned around and gave the destroyer armor a few night sky swords. But even after piercing the destroyer armor, it can only be delayed for a while. But Hila immediately flew to Suyi and said, Su, this suit of armor was sent by Odin. This is his true destroyer armor. Suyi definitely knows. He looked to Hila and asked. You brought the armor here. Hela's heart tightened. She can only speak the truth. I can't help it. After I broke through the seal, my divine power has not only been halved, but it has been slowly disappearing all the time. It must be Ao's manipulation. I can't beat this set of destroyer armor now, and the more I fight with it, the faster the divine power will disappear. Look. Hila took Su Yi's hand. Then he rubbed Su Yi with his hands. Then he rubbed her face with Su Yi's hand. 850. Did it get tender? As long as I disappear with my divine power, my appearance will gradually become smaller. Etc. In this thing, Su Yi was taken aback. Then can you become a lowly? Hila was a little puzzled at first, and then said hastily. Don't talk about lowly. 
Babies are all possible. No, no, no. Suyi immediately shook his head. Baby is not good, lowly is fine. If you become a lowly, you are legal lowly, but I definitely can't accept a baby. Colon question mark question mark question mark. What are you saying? Why can't I understand? Are we talking about the same thing? No matter what. Hila is almost begging Suyi now. You can do whatever you want. Quickly destroy Odin's armor. You said so. Suyi nodded. But he just wanted to make a move. He clicked again and said. That's not okay. There's no reason. Right. He shot just because he wanted to see Hila lowly. Doesn't that make him seem like an ISP? Wouldn't the human setup collapse like this? What's the reason? Hila turned her head and looked at the destroyer armor that was chasing after her again, almost crying, anything is fine. Does this need a reason? Don't you need it? Do you need? Need it? Do you understand men's stubbornness and ISP's bottom line? I can't accept that you only sell me bricks and stones for 30 yuan for a monthly card. It's a bit of a waste of money. Is it not good to buy two cups of milk tea in reality? If it is S here, you can buy seven bottles and get two yuan. But you said that if you buy a monthly card, you can get a new swimsuit Shinloe for your wife. Then I think this month card is worth it. Pay attention. It's not about giving his wife a swimsuit to Loe. But these 30 yuan are really cheap. So well. Suyi was also thinking of a reason. Tighter. At this time, a message came from Suyi's cell phone. Suyi picked it up and took a look. Wanda. Su. What happened? The shaking in New York woke me up. Is there a crisis? Look, here comes the reason. Suyi nodded and replied to Wanda, it will be fine soon. Then he put away the phone. Pointing to the destroyer armor rushing forward, he said. You're done, Tiezi. The words just fell. Suyi's one-fingered figure has turned into a void grip. Crack. The menacing destroyer armor suddenly stopped in the air and made a creaking sound. Suyi wanted to crush it directly. But then I thought about it. This kind of artifact, it is better to erase the information and keep it as a collection. So Suyi poured out the Phoenix Force with one hand. A burst of flame burst out from the destroyer armor and then disappeared. Ah, in the dark, Hila seemed to hear Odin's screams. But the next moment, Suyi flipped it over with one hand and retracted it every day. That set of destroyer armor was put away by Suyi. Became his own. Now, he can wear it for whomever he wants, the style can be changed for men and women at will, and the appearance is designed by him. That's all. Asgard Chichi is famous, and the destroyer armor that everyone in the Nine Realms is greedy for is easily acquired by Su Yi. Su Yi looked at the destroyer armor that had shrunk down to a figure file size in his hand. His heart moved. This set of armor has become a female model. Then make another move in your heart. This set of armor becomes convex and warped, similar to the armor worn by the female angels of the angel civilization of the super seminary. And silver and gold look much better than silver and black. After the change, Suyi wanted to take back the armor. But at this moment, snap, Hila held Suyi's other hand with both hands. Then he looked at Suyi eagerly. His eyes looked at the armor for a while, and then at Suyi. Honestly. Suyi felt that she would be very similar to those greedy golden retrievers on the internet. Looking at the owner's madness to eat, he hinted with his eyes. Want? Suyi asked. Hem. Hila nodded frantically. This is the destroyer armor. The sub-father wears it and can directly compete with the level god father. Do you think this is an artifact? The people who were watching by Hila just now were dumbfounded. Chased her down to the present armor. In the end, Suyi made a quick move. What's the situation? In that instant, Hila went to the doctor. Suyi's strength is at least the same as her father Odin. And quite possibly higher than Odin. Then this is not licking. I'm Bulu, Bulu, Bulu. But in the face of Hela's salivation. No. With a shake of Suyi's hand, he directly put the armor into the system. As the saying goes, a wise man said it well. Money is for women to see, not for women to spend. Quote. So, send Hila something. No no no. In your dreams. But seeing that Su Yi took away the armor. Hila became anxious immediately. Armor. Su, this thing is really helpful to me. Ball ball you. Hila finishes this sentence. She didn't even know why she used the coquettish tone. 
She hasn't had this feeling for thousands of years. In front of Su Yi. Seems like it should be like this. But Su Yi waved his hand, shook off Hella's hands and said. Don't even think about it. I didn't give it to Wanda or Gwen, why should I give it to you? You deserve it too. Hella's face froze suddenly. It seems to be true. If so, even if there are two sets of destroyer armor. Even if it's her turn, it still won't be her turn. This. Hila thought for a while, and turned her brain. Then imitated Wanda and Gwen and hugged Su Yi's arm and suggested. Then if I'm like them, will it be my turn? For example, Wanda wears it for a month, Gwen wears it for another month, and then lends me to wear it for a month. Is this okay? Su Yi. No, you think this is shared armor. The three women wear a suit of armor. And it's a rotation. If I say it, Su Yi's face will be completely humiliated. The beauty you think, play by yourself. Su Yi had no choice but to grab Hela's hand. But Hila hugged Su Yi's arm again and said in despair. My divine power is declining. And there is no way to recover now. If this continues, I will definitely look like a lowly. But the most important thing is that if Odin knows my current state of divine power, he will definitely come down and kill me directly. Odin is less benevolent than anyone thinks. He would really kill his own daughter. As long as Thor can take the throne. It would have been great for Odin to die a daughter. And this daughter wants to rob him of the throne. Then his daughter deserves to die even more. Su Yi thought so too. Not that Hela should be fooled. Rather, she is exactly what she says she is. If Odin finds out about her current state of divine power, Odin will really fly down an electric fork to kill her. If you think about it this way. Su Yi looked at Hela and smiled. Hela, you don't want Odin to know your current state of divine power, do you? Hila. Huh. After an hour. On the streets of New York. Su Yi held the milk tea in one hand, put the other in his pocket, and walked around the street with a green-haired lowly. He looks cool. It was the girl beside her who was crying while walking. Woo woo woo. Bad guy. BT. Su, I hate you. Hear this wailing. Su Yi didn't close it. Because he had a promise with Hila. He doesn't tell Odin Hila what's going on. And also used Phoenix Force to hide Hela. But Hela has to be like a lowly. And as long as he accepts a day of protection under Su Yi's body. She'll have to be a lowly forever. But Su Yi also found out. After Hela became a lowly, her IQ did not drop, but her EQ and personality changed. The former Hela, bloodthirsty. But now Hela, more like an in law. If you bother me again, I will beat you. And there is one more thing. Hela's body has changed a lot. For example, her hair color has become brighter. The original Hela had dark green hair. But now the hair is pale green. Does this thing change color with age? Su Yi turned his head to look at Hela's figure again. Um, Lolita is less than 1.5 meters tall in her state. A pair of pigeons in front of him. The lower legs are slender but straight. The face is immature but with a very understanding feeling. How to evaluate it? XP is going to be full. Why? Hila noticed that Su Yi was looking at her, she straightened her nose and said fiercely, bad guy. I thought you'd help me. But I didn't expect you to threaten me with the news I told you. You ungrateful man. Hoo hoo. Seeing Hela's angry look, Su Yi wanted to laugh. It's fun for her to do anything in this state. Su Yi reached out and rubbed her head. Don't wrong people, when have you ever been kind to me? And the destroyer armor almost killed you or I saved you. So technically you're repaying the favor. And I am merciful to protect you. Thank you so much, little Hila. Logic with me. You are still young, little Hila. A smile appeared on Su Yi's face. Little Hila is so much fun. Wanda equals sister royal, Gwen equals girl, Hila equals lowly. Woohoo. He got it all together. It's time to play cards. When I have time, I will gather people together. Then the next night of intense and exciting flight chess. HMPH. I hate it. Hila can't say no to Su Yi. She could only turn her back and lick the ice cream Su Yi bought for her. But she also knew it in her heart. It's good now. If Su Yi doesn't help her. Soon she dared to die. But staying under Su Yi's body will not. Others, she only needs to be a Lolita now. Su Yi who comes to her mind can crush one to death. Well, although divine power restoration doesn't know about the year of the monkey. 
But at least he won't die. Also, that's all. Suyi started shopping with the little green-haired Hila. He takes little Hila around like a child. We also chatted for many days during this period. Wanda said that you went to win the country with them, and what happened later? I was hunted down by the destroyer armor just after I arrived in Deguo. After I fought for a long time, you would have already left. Then I was hunted down by the destroyer armor from Deguo to New York. I said, then you are miserable. Quote, Wu. In your dreams, big villain, the two were walking down the street. Eat all kinds of good things. Play all kinds of fun. Until two hours passed, Su Yi looked at the time. It's almost noon, so he took little Hila to buy vegetables again. Then after shopping for groceries, he went straight home with little Hila. Drip, click, after Su Yi opened the door of the house. Little Hila hid her face behind Su Yi's waist. Su, you're back. And Wanda trotted over happily. At the same time, they also found the little girl with green hair behind Su Yi. Su, Shaw. You guys have seen it before. Su Yi pulled little Hila out. Yesterday she went to Deguo with you, Hila. Huh. Wanda was stunned. She gestured with her hand. But yesterday's Hila was wearing leather and leather pants, so rich. How about today's Hila? Wanda just finished speaking. Hila wanted to sue. Huh. Su Yi made a nasal sound. Then pretend to look in the basket. Did you buy less food? Let me see. Wanda stepped forward to have a look. Hila, little Hila pouted. If you don't say it, don't say it. Why so fierce? There is no shortage of food, let's go in and make lunch. After checking it again, Su Yi and Wanda are sure that there is no shortage of dishes. I went in with little Hila. And little Hila was about to go in wearing the new boots that Su Yi bought for her. Etc. Su Yi grabbed little Hela's hair and pulled her back. Then point to the slippers and say something. Change your shoes before going in. Cut. Little Gila pouted, but she still took off her little shoes obediently, revealing her delicate little feet where blue blood vessels can be seen. Then she put on slippers several times bigger than her current feet and entered the house. Pa ta, pa ta. The heels of the slippers clicked on the ground. So I took a look and snapped my fingers. Then Hella's slippers began to shrink, and finally became as big as Hella's feet. Little Gila, that will be your slippers from now on. Little Hila looked down at the pink slippers. Then he pouted with a smile. Who cares, hum. Su Yi carried the dishes into the kitchen. Wanda also followed in to help. Then he closed the door and smiled. It was fun when Hila got smaller, it was so funny. She was stubborn just now, but she still behaved obediently. So cute. Wanda was a little bit maternal all of a sudden. She was really moved when she saw little Hila Hila. So small and so cute. Have to admit, Asgard royal bloodlines are not very good. Thor is handsome, isn't he? Frigga was also the number one beauty in the Nine Realms before. Now it's Hela's turn. After she turned into a lowly, she was so exquisite. She's the perfect little princess. Let Wanda like it very much. But Su Yi still reminded. Little Hela's personality and EQ have changed into a child, but her IQ has not changed. Don't lie to her. What am I going to lie to her for? Wanda rolled her eyes. Then help Su Yi wash the vegetables and process the ingredients. I just think, it's nice to have a little girl like Hila. After Wanda said this, she secretly glanced at Su Yi. Su Yi could feel it. What Wanda means is that when she is free in the future, she can have a daughter. Ah, I can't write plots about having children, don't worry, just say hello, it's in line with the personality. But he still asked jokingly first. What? You want to adopt Hila as your daughter? Slap. As soon as this statement came out. Su Yi immediately suffered from Wanda's small punches. Okay. Okay. I know. Su Yi grabbed Wanda's hand. When you are stable, we are also stable, and we can have a daughter. Hem. Only then did Wanda hug Su Yi happily. Then offered her lips. Then the two continued to cook. And little Hila who was lying on the sofa watching TV outside, pouted. It's not like she didn't know what was going on in the kitchen. Even if you lose your powers, Hela's strength is still at the top level on earth. It's a bit of a rubbish sub-parent. So Hela said, huh. I keep watching TV. Anyway, don't care about me. Half an hour later, Hela, 
who was lying outside, straightened her nose and sniffed. Suck, suck, as soon as I smell such a good smell of food. Little Gila sat up with a whoosh. She almost teleported to the kitchen door and waited. Then he watched Su Yi and Wanda come out with some dishes. Oh, Hela's eyes lit up. What is this? Why have I never smelled such delicious food in Asgard? Su Yi put the dishes away. Ready the bowls and chopsticks again and couldn't help laughing. You Asgard know shitty food. Think about it, Gila. She wanted to be tough, but found no reason to be blunt. So I chose to eat at the table. Immediately afterwards, she ate the dish with Wanda. Then at the same time make a sound of, um. Finally little Gila nodded in acknowledgement. Asgard knows shitty food. Wanda nodded Hela's head when she heard it. Children are not allowed to swear. I'm not a child. Gila looked at Wanda, then glared at Suyi who was eating. Then Suyi glanced at her. Gila immediately weakened. Forget it, as long as you are happy. God is under the eaves and has to bow his head. Even if Gila is a god. Mate but now Su Yi has to be obedient here. That's all. After drinking and eating, everyone leaned comfortably on their chairs to rest and chat. Su Yi looked at the dishes on the table. Then looked at Gila and said. Little Gila, these plates are for you. Ah. Gila stared. Why, I haven't washed the dishes in Asgard. But you are at my house now. Su Yi flicked his fingers. And you didn't do anything. And you don't want to wash the dishes in the end. You have a good idea. Ah, Hela's face suddenly turned bitter. Wanda couldn't help but look at her cute appearance. So he patted her head and stood up and said. Let's go little Gila, I'll brush with you. I heard someone washing dishes with me. Gila can accept more than half of it. So I immediately stood up and went to wash the dishes with Wanda. Watching two people, one big and one small, going in and out of the kitchen. Su Yi nodded in satisfaction. She is not raising a daughter-in-law. So I did all the work I had to do. Do it well. At the same time, the Nine Realms Asgard, in the temple of at the moment, Odin was roaring angrily. Phoenix Force, Phoenix Force, how dare you attack my armor. And Gila, no matter where you are, this time I will let you die. The disappearance of a suit of the strongest armor. It directly made Odin's face flush with anger. It's not his fault. Because the destroyer armor meant a lot to him. As long as he wears this set of armor, Odin's strength can be increased by at least 30%. Back then, he was wearing this set of armor and borrowing the power to push back the celestial group. And now the armor is gone. Odin is so heartbroken that he can't breathe. Heimdall. As Odin shouted, after a while, Heimdall bowed his head and walked in. Then Odin ordered angrily, Spy on Midgard for me. Let me know if you find any traces of Phoenix Force and Hela. I will personally descend to make them face death. Wait until Wanda and little Gila finish cleaning the dishes. Su Yi took them out to play. That is, shopping around. Su Yi walked in the middle of the road, holding Wanda with his right hand and little Gila with his left hand. I do not know what happened. Wanda had a lot of hostility towards Gila before. But little Gila basically has no hostility. Not to mention holding the little Gila. Even if Su Yi is now kissing little Gila on the cheek, Wanda doesn't care. Do not know why. There is definitely no need for Su Yi to ask. Relationship issue. There is no answer. Only feeling. In this way, the wonderful Sunday passed in joy. But well, Su Yi thought for a while, it seemed that he was going to work tomorrow. Day. But going to work is fishing. It doesn't matter. The three of them wandered around until night. Then Su Yi returned home like a family of three, holding Wanda in one hand and Gila in the other. Su Yi's house is huge. Because the entire top floor and the penultimate floor of the northern building were bought by Su Yi. So only the top floor needs to be completely remodeled. At least dozens of bedrooms or living rooms can be transformed. But Su Yi didn't do so much when he was decorating. Just took five rooms. All other places are left blank. But it's too easy to leave this little room for little Gila. As for the master bedroom. Now Su Yi and Wanda are sleeping. The time came to 8 o'clock in the evening. Little Gila is addicted to PS5. Hoo hoo, this is so much fun. Su, Su Yi sat on the thick carpet and played games. He's playing a hack and slash game. Hell is blood boiled while watching, screaming. I want to play too. I want to play too. Little Gila screamed excitedly. 
Reluctantly, Suyi could only give her a handle. Then Hila played really hard. How to play how to play. Su, teach me. Look at the setting buttons, this one is attack, this one is dodge, this one is skill, this one can control movement. Suyi teaches little Hila to play games. Little Hila listened very carefully. Seeing this from the side, Wanda smiled warmly. After a while. Who? Still sitting next to Suyi holding the controller and playing PS5 madly. She is a god and has a very high IQ. It's pretty easy to play a game well. Kill you. Kill you. Kill him too. In a hack and slash game. Little Hila had a great time playing. The whole person is in a state of excitement. Crazy slaughter of NPC in the game. That scene. Much more ruthless than she is in reality. In reality, Hila most kills are aliens. 160. But the little game Hila saw a chicken and ran to kill it. Shaokan. MMP. Suyi and Wanda looked at each other face to face. This baby. It's too bloody inside. Hoo hoo. That's great. I'm going to kill people. Kill them all. That's all. Little Hila is playing wildly with the handle. The whole person twists and turns with the characters in the game. It's just the game character jumping. Hila will follow suit. Absolutely. Suyi glanced at Wanda, shrugged his shoulders and explained. She is the goddess of death, she just likes to kill people. Forget it, leave her alone, let's go back to sleep. But, Wanda looked at Hila and said worriedly, if you leave her alone, she won't sleep all night. Suyi looked at the excited Hila. You pull her away now and don't let her play. That's when she won't sleep all night. And now. You don't care about her, she is a god, not a human. Suyi waved his hand indifferently, she won't die if she stays up all the time. Is that so? Wanda suddenly realized, ever since. Suyi patted little Hila on the head. Wanda and I are going back to sleep first. If you want to sleep after playing enough, go to sleep in another room. I know, little Hila dragged his voice. Sleep at this point, I don't know how you can sleep. You are really weak. Little Hila hasn't finished speaking yet. Suyi grabbed her face and slipped up. What did you say? It hurts, it hurts. Little Hila immediately begged for mercy. I was wrong, I was wrong, and I dare not do it again. Seeing Hila admit his mistake, Suyi put down Hila and let her continue playing games. Wanda just kept laughing beside her. Then the two entered the room. At the moment is 10 p.m. Little Hila is still playing games in the living room. Suyi and Wanda were lying on the bed, chatting under the quilt. Wanda huddled in Suyi's chest, talking while drawing with fingers. I'm going to study at the Kamartage you mentioned tomorrow morning. So fast. Suyi was a little surprised when he heard the words, aren't you going to stay for a few more days? Wanda shook her head. No, you have to do your own thing tomorrow, and I should do my own thing too. The sooner you go to Kamar Taj, the sooner you finish your studies. By the time I've learned a lot of spells, we're going to have a lot of time. Wanda was right. It's better to get things done first than to wait till the end. And the sooner you learn spells, it will become stronger in the future. So Wanda's thinking is absolutely correct. But Suyi looked at Wanda's increasingly rosy face, and smiled in her ear. I really want to learn magic. Or can't stand it because of my torment. For a moment, Wanda's face seemed to be on fire. She raised her head and glared at Suyi. Then he hammered Suyi's chest and said. Last night I felt like I was going to die, and you were still working hard. I fell asleep in a daze in the morning, and I was woken up by you again. In the end, I didn't know whether I passed out or fell asleep. You, you're so bad. Wanda said so. But Suyi could see with naked eyes that she was softening again. Suyi smiled knowingly. He leaned close to her ear and made a must sound. Um. Wanda responded weakly. Suyi was ready to do it. But Wanda put her hands on Suyi's chest and said. Take it easy, I have to go to Kamartaj tomorrow and then let dot let dot let Gwen get it for you. Finished. Wanda buried her head in the blanket. And Suyi smiled. Like a hungry wolf coming. Outside the door. Although little Hila has been playing games. But his face became more and more red. For thousands of years, she has never experienced these things. If you have to say it harshly. That is the old virgin who has been around for thousands of years. As a result, hear these now. 
She really couldn't hold back. I felt as uncomfortable as having a cat tickle me. But there is no way. Little Gila could only turn itching into anger. Crazy monster slaughter in hack and slash. Let alone chicken now. If the earthworm can be cut, it has to be played and divided into two halves vertically. The next day, when Su Yi woke up, he snapped his fingers to clean up the room as before. Then look at Wanda sleeping soundly. Su Yi looked at the time. It was more than 7 o'clock in the morning, which was still early. It's not early this time. So he got up first and opened the bedroom door. It turned out that Hila was curled up on the thick floor and fell asleep. She leaned on the pillows on the sofa. Then a quilt was dragged from an unknown room and covered. In the end, I slept in the living room like this. Su Yi shook his head helplessly after seeing it. There's something wrong. Then he went to take a shower. Then make some breakfast for Wanda and myself. Oh, right. There is also a naive lowly. Finally. Suck, suck. The stupid lowly was woken up by the noodles cooked by Su Yi. She opened her eyes. Immediately threw off the quilt and ran to Su Yi and asked. What to eat? Noodles. Su Yi cooked the noodles and took a moment to glance at her. I don't know the result. Look at the good guy. Little Gila, you don't have any clothes right now. Little Gila was taken aback for a moment, then lowered her head. Then she shuddered. As he walked out slowly, he said firmly. Then what's the matter, do you want to pick up your clothes if you lose them while fighting desperately? That's what it says. But as soon as little Gila went out. Go straight to wear the skirt Su Yi bought for her yesterday. After a while, seeing that the noodles were almost ready, Su Yi went to wake Wanda up. Wanda made a nasal sound first. He opened his sleepy eyes and looked at Su Yi. Then hold out your hands. Hug. Ah Wei is dead. Su Yi reached out and hugged the wealthy Wanda. Then put her on the chair with little Hella's shocked eyes and said. A B E C go and brush your teeth, it's time to eat. Okay. Little Gila watched Wanda brush her teeth like this. Then Su Yi went to fetch the noodles and brought them up. After half a sound, I saw that Wanda was still in the shower and didn't come out. Little Gila still asked in doubt. Su, why are you being so nice to me? You are better than Shendu, you don't need to treat her like this. Su Yi put three bowls of noodles on the table. Then tell Gila unhurriedly. Although there are differences in the strength of the family, it is for the outside world, not for the cause. Emotions can be very pure, so pure that there is only emotion, and everything else is nothingness. Are you going to use your ability to kill your family? Su Yi just finished speaking. I realized I was wrong. Yes, sure enough, Hila nodded in confirmation. She does kill. Okay. Su Yi helped his forehead. What I mean is, when you like someone, strength gradually becomes unimportant. Even when you are together, to be strong is to come together and act together, and that will make you stronger. Little Gila was thinking hard. Still don't understand. But that's okay. It's strange to understand her character immediately. Su Yi didn't expect her to understand. But hopefully she won't regret it when she realizes. That's all. After Wanda comes out. The three finished off Su Yi's cooked noodles. Then Su Yi asked Wanda to pack the clothes and supplies. Wait until Wanda comes back with two bags. The two came to the living room. Su Yi is ready to send Wanda to Kamar Taj. And Wanda's face also showed anticipation. Where are you going? At this time, Hila found that Su Yi was about to leave, so she asked curiously. Go to Kamar Taj, a magician's holy place, are you going? Su Yi asked casually. Go. Hila immediately agreed upon hearing this. That's fine, but if you go there, you're not allowed to run, and you're not allowed to use your ability. Su Yi reminded Hila, if it can't be done, I can just let you die without Odin coming down. Little Hila nodded sharply. Then Su Yi asked her to change her shoes and come over. One last snap of the fingers. Snapped. Next moment. The three appeared in the temple of Ancient One in Kamar Taj. In the temple. A female magician has been waiting for a long time. And she is the Ancient One magician. After seeing Su Yi bringing people here, Ancient One stood up, walked in front of Su Yi and bowed slightly. This is a very big etiquette. Because as long as Su Yi is not around, Yin Yi is the most powerful person on this earth. And the little Hila behind Su Yi was dumbfounded when she saw that Ancient One was owed to Su Yi. Who is this? 
This is ancient one. She will oh su. That means Su's strength is above hers. Oh my god. Little Hila looked at Su Yi in shock. Because she knew that since Ancient One was doing this now, her father wouldn't be able to make any mistakes. And Su Yi nodded when he saw Ancient One leaning back. Then he patted Wanda on the shoulder and said, Her name is Wanda, I won't go into details, but you can see it too. Trouble Ancient One magician also teach her to be a real magician from now on. Ancient One nodded when he heard it. Then he smiled at Su Yi. When I teach her, I help the planet. Su Yi nodded. Yes. Ancient One was right. After Wanda changed dramatically. It will also naturally protect the earth. So now Ancient One teaching her is tantamount to helping the earth. So Ancient One definitely would. At this moment. Ancient One noticed the little lowly behind Su Yi. She looked at little Hila. After thinking about it, I recalled it. I felt a familiar breath from her. As soon as this sentence came out. Su Yi couldn't help laughing. She is Hila, eldest daughter of Asgard Odin. Now the divine power is gone, and I have become a little lowly. So I call her little Hila. Quote. Su Yi said, the sun is cloudy. Ancient one couldn't help but laughed slowly. Wanda watched from the side and laughed too. Hey. Then Hila definitely didn't want to. She almost jumped up and looked at Su Yi. Didn't you say not to tell other people about me? What if the old man Odin finds out? It's okay if she doesn't move or speak. As a result, little Hila made such a toss. Everyone laughed more happily. Hi. Hila is almost anxious. You guys are still laughing. What a nuisance. Su Yi suppressed his smile and stroked Hela's green hair. Okay, okay, stop laughing. As for the leak, Ancient One's character requires you to doubt it. You should think more about how not to expose yourself. Speaking of which, Su Yi still couldn't help smiling. Ah, seeing the smile on the corner of Su Yi's mouth, Hila tried hard. She raised her small fist and hit Su Yi's waist. You're still laughing. You're still laughing. You're laughing to death. Ha ha ha. Now Su Yi likes Hela's Lolita so much. Compared to the mature Hila who just met. When Su Yi went up, he just kicked his knees and scratched his head. Then there is the maiden Hila. Su Yi can only feel that he is okay, better than mature. Finally, the current lowly Hila. That Su Yi can only say. Sai Gao, it's so spicy. Next, Ancient One called two female magicians to come in and take Wanda to her room to check and organize things. Ancient One knows the details of some men very well. For example, she arranged for female magicians. She also knew that Su Yi's arrangement of Wanda must be selfish. So Ancient One is more business as usual. And after Wanda left first. Ancient One looked at Su Yi and chatted about other things. As for Hila, she went to look east and west. These things she could not see or touch before. Because it is impossible for Ancient One to let her in. Then Ancient One said, Stephen has come here not long ago, and is learning spells from scratch like everyone else. Su Yi nodded, not bad. But he doesn't concentrate. Ancient One said again, he has distracting thoughts in his heart, too many worldly things affect his practice. Su Yi nodded understandingly, it seems that I have to enlighten him. Ancient One agrees, that's what she means. So, Su Yi called the little girl not far away and said, let's go, little Hila, I'll take you to see the magician. Coming, the three of them left the temple. Along the way, every magician will bow and salute when they see Ancient One. But Su Yi is a very vain person. Then he will definitely want these people to salute him. The way to do that, then, is to have Ancient One reveal his identity as the Godfather of the Sorcerer Supreme. But that's obviously pretty insane. And compared to letting ordinary people salute him. Su Yi is obviously more willing to let people in high positions salute him. Well, more high level. The three walked out of the temple and came to the road paved with boulders. Then walked through the courtyard all the way to the martial arts field. It's still morning, so when the three of them came here, the magicians in the martial arts arena are practicing in the morning. Some of them are casting spells with sling rings. Some were casting spells with staffs. Definitely. The village is huge. It is a long staff among melee weapons. Rather than a staff like a brush. How do magicians practice? Hila asked curiously from the side. They are not real magicians yet. Ancient One replied from the side, 
A real magician must be able to cast spells as usual without being afraid of the surrounding environment. And you need to learn all basic spells, such as melee spells. Yes, all the spells learned here in Kamar Taj are melee spells. That is, rub your hands together. Then rub out two spells like shuriken. Maybe this has something to do with the magician's low defense. So make up for the defense first. Hila nodded to show that she understood. But she doesn't have this trouble. Hila knows both death spells and melee and ranged attacks. She's more of an all-out melee magician. At the moment Ancient One and Suyi are looking at one of the magician's morning training team. That's Stephen Strange. Among the many magicians. Only his earthly breath is the most serious. Everyone else is quietly practicing spells. But Stephen has never been confident. Because of the car accident. Stephen has always felt that his failure to practice spells is due to his own hands. Rather than their own reasons. So after several attempts to draw the golden sparkles. Stephen would start to get irritable. He looked at the people around him. Then tried to learn something. Then he saw Su Yi an ancient one magician not far away. Stephen stared. Why is Su here? These are his inner words. At the same time, the movement of his hands also stopped. Why is Su here? What is he doing here? Learn magic with me. Don't look around. At this time, Wong shouted sternly beside Stephen. The first key to practicing spells is to focus on nothing else. Do you see that you have done it now? No distractions. Who can do it when you are so loud? Stephen turned to look. The people around him were not distracted at all. They were not at all curious about what was going on around them. Still concentrating on drawing spells. All right. Stephen touched his nose. A little embarrassing. It turned out that I was really the only one who didn't concentrate. Wang looked at Ancient One and Su Yi from a distance, then nodded at the same time to represent the luggage. Then continued to speak to Stephen. The practice of spells requires concentration. You will never be able to learn spells in your current state. Facing the king's admonition, Stephen raised his trembling hand and said, It's my hands that prevent me from practicing spells. Wang scrunched his face. Looking at Stephen, he explained, You can learn spells without hands, why can't you have hands? It's possible without hands. Stephen obviously didn't believe it. No hands can. But at the moment Ancient One and Su Yi have already come to Stephen's side. Stephen immediately looked at Su Yi. But Su Yi remained expressionless for the time being. Stephen looked at Ancient One again, he knew that Ancient One was the number one person here. So he confirmed again with a little respect. Is it okay to have no hands? Ancient One is no nonsense. She directly asked a magician without hands to walk to Stephen. Then he used the melee spell in front of him. This. Stephen was stunned. He looked at Su Yi with questioning in his eyes. Su Yi didn't answer his question. But just said lightly. Doubt is the strongest enemy. A word from Su Yi. There was an instant silence for Stephen. Yes. He's been skeptical all along. He was doubting whether he could do it. He was doubting whether his hands would work. He's really skeptical all over the place. Simply put, it is both proud and inferior. Su Yi saw this. Lightly reminded. Don't be blinded by your pride. It's still a long time, and you will always have the heart of an apprentice to get you out of the predicament. Su Yi reminded a few more words. Stephen fell silent again. But oddly enough, Su Yi also saw Ancient One, Hila, and Wang beside him, and fell silent. They were all silent. After half a sound, Ancient One nodded and thanked. Those words just now, even I have benefited a lot. Wang even said nothing. He made a big salute to Su Yi. Thanks Godfather Sorcerer Supreme. After Stephen woke up, he suddenly wondered, Godfather. These two words. Made Ancient One smile. She looked at Stephen. You'll find out later. She was looking forward to what Su Yi would say in front of Stephen. You don't even bother to call me Godfather. Quote. But Wang was not fooled. But what Ancient One said made him confused. What's the meaning? What Ancient One said to Stephen. Could it be that Stephen will become Sorcerer Supreme in the future? Wang looked at Stephen again. Can this man do it? How can he grow into Sorcerer Supreme like this? But I have to say. It's really good. What is the core of the Marvel hero? It grows fast. Whether it is Spider-Man, Iron Man, Sorcerer Supreme, or Ant-Man, they all grow very fast. 
He might have been a street bum a few months ago. But in a few months he's off to save the world. That's it. Immediately afterwards, after watching Steven, and comment on him after three sentences, Su Yi already knew that he had figured it out. So Su Yi nodded, looked at Steven and finally said, Practice well, your past, whether it is money or reputation, has passed. Now you only have the magician. Don't give up, when you have only one way to choose, then the south wall has to be hit. Heard the words, Stephen nodded seriously. I see, thank you, Sue. Su Yi nodded. Then he patted him on the shoulder, and left with Ancient One and Little Hila. After watching the three leave, Wong stared at Stephen and said, Both the Godfather and the Ancient One magician value you. Don't let them down, you know. Stephen was taken aback by Wang's words. Su is the godfather. After hearing this, Wang immediately glared at Stephen. You are not entitled to know now. Practice quickly. After being admonished by the king, Stephen immediately concentrated on training. Next, the three returned to the temple. Ancient One thanked Su Yi. Stephen's mentality has been adjusted to the best. And you only used three sentences. Sometimes you don't need to boast publicly when you praise someone. For example, so awesome, so powerful, so good. And Ancient won these two sentences. It has already expressed Su Yi's ability. Hila on the side seconded after hearing it. Su, you should come to Asgard as the god of hypnotic ability. Or go to a different space and become an evil god. So many girls. Aia, little Hila hasn't finished yet. Su Yi pinched his ears and lifted him up. Hila yelled on tiptoe. I was wrong. I was wrong. I was really wrong. I won't talk nonsense anymore. After hearing Hela's instant apology, Su Yi chuckled lightly and let go of her ears. After Hila got down, she immediately hid away while holding her ears. But there is still a hard word in my heart. Dare to do it next time. Ancient One smiled helplessly after seeing it. It seems that God was so naughty when he was a child. Hila is at least as powerful as an Asian server. After becoming a lowly now, she is no different from a child. Although the combat power has not fallen out of the sub-parent level, it is obvious that the mentality has fallen out of the parent level. Then, Su Yi and Ancient One continued to chat in the temple. For example, the issue that Ancient One wants to discuss is Earth's life and death, whether it is active or passive. That is, to take the initiative to change, or to passively accept the failure. The question is simple. Su Yi's answer is yes. Doing what you want is not a strong person, but not doing what you don't want to do is a real strong person. The same applies to the earth. You want to change the earth is not really changing the earth. But you are really strong if you don't want the earth to become what you want. Being able to say no is really powerful. To this, Ancient One smiled nodded and shook his head. I can't predict the location of the enemy. There are too many unknown powerful enemies in the universe. Just the celestial group that I know is already an irresistible existence for me and Odin. Both Ancient One and Odin are level god fathers. But in the eyes of the celestial team of level single universe, it is obviously not enough. The difference between the two is an order of magnitude. And this magnitude is about the same as the difference between a house and the entire earth and maybe more than that. At this point, Ancient One understands. Then Su Yi doesn't need to tell Ancient One anymore. Once the cognitive gap is too large, it's not good to say. It's the equivalent of knowing too much and being powerless. Only despair. And behind the celestial group, there are definitely more powerful than them. For example, the five great gods. And these are useless to Ancient One. Ancient One also knew that it was useless to know. So the question is right here. Neither talk anymore. This is the wise man. After a while, Wanda came back with several female magicians. As soon as she comes in, Su Yi saw that she was wearing two sling rings on her hands. And it's different from normal sling ring. The two sling rings are scarlet. Goes great with scarlet witch. Then this should be specially done by Ancient One after knowing about it. Su Yi looked at Ancient One. Ancient One nodded in acknowledgement. Su, look quickly. Wanda came to Su's side. Then show the sling ring to Su Yi. This thing can help me mobilize mana quickly, and control it more precisely. Probably more than half the lift. Su Yi took a look at the sling ring. Good. Then give it back to Wanda. 
When you become a current magician, I will give you better magic equipment. Really? Wanda smiled happily. That's great. Su Yi didn't send them randomly. It's just that the reward mechanism allows Wanda to learn faster. And what he was going to give away was the Dark God book. That thing is in Westview Town. He just took Wanda to get it. After chatting with Wanda, Su Yi looked at the time. Get up and say to Ancient One. Then Wanda is here to ask the Ancient One magician. She will move freely in Kamar Taj and the outside world after she learns the teleportation spell. Until then, she will live in Kamar Taj. It's her choice. After Ancient One heard it, he looked at Wanda slightly surprised. She thought Wanda had someone as powerful as Su Yi as her partner. Learning magic might just be about finding something to do. But she didn't realize that Wanda would try so hard. If you don't learn teleportation magic, you can't go out of the mountain. You must know that many magicians can't even learn to teleport magic in their entire lives. Although Wanda has a foundation in magic, her hard work is worthy of Ancient One's serious teaching. So Ancient One nodded seriously and replied, I will. Now that the chat is over, Su Yi turned around and hugged Wanda who was begging for a hug. Patted her on the back. Su Yi encouraged. With your ability, maybe we will meet again soon. Believe in yourself, Wanda. Even the number one magician in the Nine Realms is not enough to see in front of you. You have no idea how much potential you have. Wanda put her arms around Su Yi. Feeling a little down, you're about to lift me up to the sky. No, I'm telling you that it's nothing. Su Yi patted his shoulder. When you look back later, you will find that the matter now is easy. Um, the two hugged for a while. Wanda took the initiative to push Su Yi away. You go back, pay attention to safety, if you are bored, ask Gwen to come over to accompany you, or let that little lowly tease you. Su Yi smiled. Okay. But the little Gila on the side is not willing. Who do you think is funny? Hi. Okay, okay. Su Yi grabbed Gila. Then he nodded to Wanda and said. Goodbye, I expect you to surprise me. Will do. In the end, under the eyes of Wanda and Hela's anger. Snap. Su Yi snapped his fingers. He and Gila just disappeared in place. Inside the temple, Wanda saw Su Yi leave. She took a deep breath and closed her eyes. But wait a while and then open it. Her eyes were full of thirst for knowledge. Wanda turned to look at Gila. I can devote all my energy to studying spells when I'm not sleeping and eating. As for Ancient One, the more I look at Wanda, the more I like it. She also nodded and smiled. And I will do my best to help you. The other side. After snapping your fingers, Su Yi and Little Gila returned to the entrance of the penultimate floor of the northern building in an instant. Then Gila also became honest in an instant. Um. Su Yi looked at Gila and asked strangely. Why did you suddenly become weird? Little Gila cast a glance at Su Yi. Then put his hands in his arms and said old-fashionedly. HMPH, you are so stupid. I was helping you put on a show for Wanda. This way your Wanda won't worry about you when the time comes. Su Yi was taken aback by little Hela's words. But he immediately reacted and praised Hela. Not bad, you've finally done something, little Hela. HMPH. Little Hela pouted after hearing this. Just kidding, I'm very smart, okay. Even though he said that, the corners of Hela's mouth were about to burst into laughter. So the pout turned into a pout. It's like the crooked dragon king. And Su Yi has already opened the door of the office. Today is Monday, let's go to work. Ah, Hila dragged out a long voice. What's the meaning of this? Su Yi walked in. After beeping to remove the ashes, he said. There are also PS5s here, as well as top-end computers for PCs, as well as iced milk tea and various snacks and desserts. If you are too lazy to cook, you can order takeaway. In short, there is everything here except not at home. The voice did not fall. Su Yi saw a green-haired lowly figure in a skirt rushing in. Little Gila is here, zero. Back to a familiar place. Su Yi sat on the boss's chair, knocked his legs on the table again, and finally leaned his hands on his head. Call. Don't tell me. This is the taste. Just rested for two days. He almost forgot what he was doing. I looked at the house number. Oh psychiatrist. That still has to be done well. After all, this is the main business. Saving the world is just a side job. But then again, 
Suyi hasn't looked at the punch card rewards for a long time. And I didn't watch it for two days during the last five days off and two days off. Suyi looked at the little Hila who was frantically playing PS5 at the side. Then he leaned back comfortably on the chair and thought to himself. Punch the card. Plus check previous check-in rewards. Get. Brave New World Complete Comics X1. Obtain. Secret Teaching Complete Comics X1. Acquire Critical Strike. Phoenix Force Fragment X100. Obtain. Black Death Sword X2. Obtain. Cybertron Planet Template X1. Interesting. See what these check-in rewards are about. Suyi suddenly became interested. Those two in front, um. Forget it, from now on. The latter three are the really interesting rewards. The first is the shards of the Phoenix Force. Directly hit the card to reach 100 critical strikes. It seems that this is the role of Spider Knight and Witch Knight. You must know that he has never punched a crit before. But with the promotion of these two titles, there will be. Think here. Suyi looked at the lowly Hila who was playing games on the side. He couldn't help thinking. Does this have a title? If anything, what would that be? Death Knight. Isn't that the name of a skin? Goddess Knight. That seems good too. Forget it. Let go of distracting thoughts in your mind. Suyi first dealt with the broken, 083, piece of Phoenix Force. The first is all cleansing. Let the Phoenix will remaining in the fragments dissipate. In this way, Suyi will not be affected. You can also use Phoenix Force directly and completely. Purification. Ding, the purification is complete. After the purification is complete, Suyi directly chose to absorb the 100 Phoenix Force fragments. Absorb. For a moment. After Suyi chose to absorb it, these 100 Phoenix Force fragments directly entered Suyi's body. And in reality, there is nothing unusual about Suyi's body but his eyes suddenly reflected the miniature of a phoenix. And in Suyi's spiritual world, at the moment of absorbing phoenix force, countless mirror worlds appeared in front of Suyi's eyes. These mirror worlds are intertwined, but each one is different. Suyi quickly shuttled through it, then saw many, many worlds. There are too many worlds to see, and countless worlds. Just like that for a while, Suyi closed his eyes, then suddenly opened, clang. Phoenix force broke out in Suyi's spirit. The countless mirror worlds around him also shattered and collapsed. And Suyi's spirit instantly returned to reality. In the office, Suyi suddenly opened his eyes. At the same time, the miniature Phoenix in his eyes also disappeared. As if nothing had happened. But Suyi knew at the moment. What he saw in the spiritual world just now was the dreamy epitome of the multi-universe. Although that's not true. But Suyi can control it. He could already feel it just now. As long as he wants. He can turn those mirrors into any other mirrors. Or just smash the mirror. Or make another mirror. Anyway, whatever. And this also means. Suyi has officially entered the multi-universe level. This is the power of the multi-universe level. Suyi felt it. It turns out that the combat power of the multi-universe level. Many aspects are on the rule. That is to say, as long as he thinks, he can do whatever he wants. Just get to this level. There are so many things that can be affected at full power. So many people will take the initiative not to use this ability. And only use when needed. Not bad. Suyi nodded in satisfaction. After reaching the multi-universe level, his Phoenix Force is stronger than the normal multi-universe level. Because that's what makes Phoenix Force special. Think here. Suyi was so happy that he couldn't help wanting to drink a cup of milk tea. Little Hila, bring me some milk tea. I'm playing a game, you yourself. Um, Hila wasn't finished yet. Suyi's nasal voice came out. Do not know how. A tremor of the soul welled up in Hela's heart. Next moment. Give. Hila doesn't even pause the game. He directly put a cup of iced milk tea in front of Suyi. Good, let's go back and play games. Then I'm leaving. Watching little Hila turn around and leave, Suyi was quite satisfied. How can that be considered child labor abuse? He just asked someone for a favor. Didn't people help? Next, Suyi checked the penultimate reward. Black Death Sword. Suyi is still in the same posture. The legs are on the table, and the person is leaning on the chair. 
holding milk tea in one hand, and the newly drawn black death sword in the other. This sword is rhombus shaped. The whole body is as black as ink. Holding it in his hand, Suyi could feel the power of the black death sword. And this sword will also increase the power of the host. But for Su Yi, about a amount, a thousandth or a ten thousandth. Su Yi didn't know, but this sword is said to kill gods. And it also has the power to affect the mind of the user. It's a bit similar to the Darkborn weapon in Lal Runaland. Su Yi held it in his hand. Immediately, a crazy voice came from his ears. Kill, 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 kill. Originally, this voice should have appeared in the spiritual world. This can instantly affect the host. But Su Yi's strength is too high. It can only ring outside the ear. But Su Yi sounded very annoying. Then, purification. After a soft voice, the negative effects of the Black Death Sword are gone. Suck. Su Yi took a sip of milk tea. Continue watching the beautiful appearance of this sword. So handsome. The appearance is almost full. And at the moment. Little Hila who was playing games with Su Yi behind her back suddenly trembled all over. Then a death terror came from behind her. This feeling is both scary and familiar to Hila, the goddess of death. She turned her head slowly. Only then did he realize that Su Yi was playing with a sword. Quote exclamation mark exclamation mark exclamation mark quote. Hela's eyes lit up when she saw the sword. Because she can feel the sword is very powerful. And it's very compatible with her. As if made in heaven. Shua. For a moment. Hila appeared beside Su Yi. Then he pawed Su Yi's pants with both hands and said eagerly. What kind of sword is this? Su. Su Yi smiled. Black death sword. Wow. Hila doesn't care whether he has heard of it or not. Anyway. Her eyes are full of stars first. He stared at Su Yi with adoring eyes and asked. What is the black death sword? Su Yi touched the blade. He also introduced it with great interest. Black Death Sword, full name, Black Death Blade. Its real body is actually the first symbiote created by Nar, the god of symbiosis. It has the ability to swallow and become stronger after killing the gods, and even duplication. But that is an all Black Death Sword, and this is an ordinary Black Death Sword. It is the weapon of the god Slayer Gear, which is used to kill the gods. But it's ridiculous. Gur's power is bestowed and controlled by the Black Death Sword. And Gear originally was nothing after leaving the Black Death Sword. There are two types of Black Death Swords. The first is called the All Black Dead Sword, which is the ancestor of the symbiont. It is also the strongest Black Death Sword. The All Black Death Sword is not only killing the gods, it can even kill the gods. It was with this sword that Nar chased and killed the gods. In other words, the All Black Death Sword can kill level single universe. The second is called Black Death Sword. This sword has been passed down from generation to generation and is not the first All Black Death Sword. Ordinary Black Death Sword can give anyone the power to slaughter gods. But the spirit can also be affected. It's the same as the Darken weapon in Law. In severe cases, it may even be controlled by weapons. This is how these two swords are classified. That's it. Hila nodded straight after listening, expressing understanding. But she looked at the Black Death Sword eagerly. Then he shook Su Yi's leg with his hand. When Su Yi looked over, she looked at Su Yi with even more eager eyes. Like that. There is no difference between a puppy and a puppy. Su Yi was amused after seeing her like that. But she still shook her head and said, This sword cannot be given to you now. Man's ambition is unlimited, and God is even more so. I gave it to you, what if you become bad, you are not my confidant. I want to get this sword. Either you exchange it for something of the same value. Either earn my trust completely. Heard the words. When Su Yi explained to him, Hila knew it was impossible. Because when Su Yi was speaking the truth, he was really speaking the truth, without any empathy. But Hila thought about it. I can't give it now, but it is possible to give it. Of the same value, she may not come out at all. But trust the word. She has nowhere to go anyway. It's better to grind by Su Yi's side. What if? And Su Yi saw that Hila actually reasoned. He was also surprised. Remember the first time he met Hila. Then beat Hila up and she says I want you. It's so much better now. Still obedient. Not bad. Su Yi patted little Hela's head in satisfaction. Go back and play games, dear. Um.
And Hila went back to play games without saying a word. No noise. It's eye-catchingly cute. And it looks cute. On the contrary, this made Suyi feel a little guilty. Tut tut. So I have to say. The soft knife is the one that stabs the deepest. But reason is reason. Suyi will not change this point. So, now look at the last bonus. Cybertron Planet Template. This stuff is pretty interesting. If this is what Suyi thinks about, then this should be the biggest thing that Suyi has ever clocked in. Suyi first checked the rewards. Cybertron Planet Template. After selecting a planet with a diameter of no more than 10,000 kilometers and putting it on the planet core of the template, various resources of Cybertron Planet will be automatically produced. Note, this resource will only be produced once. Oh. That is, he chooses a planet. Then apply the template. In the end, the planet core will produce the same resources as Cybertron. So strictly speaking, this is a resource card. As long as he uses it, you will get trillions of tons of various resources. It's just that this resource is a planet. Whether it can be mined or used depends only on Suyi himself. I see. After seeing this template, Suyi understood. But he also has a new way of playing in his mind. And it is combined with the last open reward. You see. Most people punched in this reward. Either don't use it, or use it and waste it. But Su Yi is different. He has a fire source. And there are a thousand planet engines. Although two out of a thousand have no energy, it is not impossible to change if they have no energy. As long as there is a power system. So. Suyi can create a Cybertron star that only belongs to him by himself. Hiss. Suyi gasped at the thought of this. This is so interesting. Own Cybertron planet. Then you are the creator. This is great too. Think about it. Suyi was ready to become the creator of Cybertron. But look at the time. It is noon now. If you want to brush. You have to clock in after get off work in the afternoon. After all, it is the same whether the creator is at noon, afternoon or evening. But if you don't play today's card, you really won't be able to play it. So Suyi still felt that it would be better to create Cybertron after punching out the card in the afternoon. Suck. Thinking of this, Suyi took another sip of milk tea. Bang bang. At this time, there was a knock on the door. Enter. After Suyi finished speaking, the door was pushed open. Comes in a black widow wearing a hoodie and blue jeans. Forehead. Suyi was taken aback when he saw the clothes. And Natasha Romanoff took off her hood. Then sat in front of Suyi and smiled. Don't know me. No. Suyi shook his head, asked Hila to bring Natasha Romanoff a bottle of milk tea, and then continued, the first day Wanda and I met, she also wore this dress. Exactly the same, even the style is the same. What a coincidence. Natasha Romanoff was taken aback. Then with a smile, he unzipped the hoodie by half and then retracted it with a smile. What about this? 1.8. Su Yi's expression remained unchanged. But he gasped inwardly. Because Natasha Romanoff is wearing full body tights inside. Yes. You read that right. Full body tights. It's the kind of stockings that go all the way to the neck. The kind that wraps your whole body. Very much like a battle suit. Very hot. So what to say? It's very wow. And Natasha Romanoff smiled and said after pulling up her clothes. Don't get me wrong, I'm not BT. It's just that these stockings allow me to put them on quickly for a battle suit. And it doesn't matter if you take it off, and it will be more convenient in action. Natasha Romanoff finished. Suyi nodded to express his understanding. He understands. To put it bluntly, this thing is like this. On the negative side, say cough cough cough. Cough cough. Suyi coughed twice. Then looked back at Natasha Romanoff and said. You come here in this, I mean this jacket and jeans. It's got to be what's going on with the Avengers Alliance and internationally. And now come to me, do I need enlightenment? Natasha Romanoff thought for a while after listening. She is the kind of person who is serious for a while, but not serious every day. After half a sound. Natasha Romanoff nodded, because of the impact of Duguo Airport. The Avengers Alliance has been connected to the United Nations system, and Tony gave up the basic control of the Avengers Alliance, retaining only one core control. And Captain America disappeared with his people, probably in hiding. But I feel like he's investigating things on his own to bring down the UN rules and set the superhero free. 
Others have to stay on base to accept UN missions. 1. It is not allowed to act privately outside as a superhero. That's why I came dressed like this. Definitely, I also mean the hoodie and blue jeans. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and support my channel.